Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Uh, Cheers it's going to be yeah. a way over. Let's see if we can get a clink out of that. That's real glass, isn't it? Yeah. Mr. Uh, Hollis. Yeah. yeah. What is this podcast called? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> the first honest answer we've gotten. Yeah. 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 Uh, consistently <laughs> oh. off tour. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Cheers. That's, that's, awesome. remember. that's great. Dude. That's awesome. What do we get consistently? Uh, Hoff. 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 Consistent, well, consistently late or something. Yeah. I think good. that was one too. remembers what our podcast is called. Yeah. It's on brand is what we were hoping for. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you been? It's great. Good, man. Um, you know, getting ready to, uh, for the move. This I know. Move. Nashville. First of all, everybody, welcome Mr. Jason Hollis. Yeah. yeah thank you. This Woo! man has Woo! produced down, Film Speed's past three singles, basically, right? Woo! Yeah. yeah. We, yeah. All I, man, the ones. myth, the legend. <laughs> we talk about you a lot. Prop- yeah. Do we talk about him a lot? Oh, yeah. I don't know how many different episodes have Shout Out Hollis in Probably. it. Probably. If, yeah, yeah, if you tag... Yeah. Like well, I, I don't know. Start listening. I don't know. <laughs> how you should, I don't know if we've done a hashtag it yet, I but don't give a fuck. <laughs> I told you, I told you, we have six listeners, and three of them are us. So. Well, <laughs> I, t- I tell you what, you know, like it's so hard now to go back and, and listen to something for an hour. Yeah, yeah. Yes. you just don't have. The oh time. yeah, we ramble right. for fucking ever. But when things are like you know they're broken up, like the Instagram things you guys do, I always kind of yeah. go back and, and watch that stuff. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you what, man, that that stuff takes so much time. That's a second job. It you pretty know, much yeah. prepare all of that yeah, yeah. content. I, I really don't <laughs> think people understand. No way. Right? There's time no. and effort involved. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's 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 a lot of time. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's a lot of effort. Yeah, yeah. You know, really, like you really have to have roles f- for that kind of thing because mm-hmm. one person can't tackle it on their own. Yeah, I just yeah. don't. Think oh, we delegate. We definitely delegate. Yeah, it's sound engineer, Instagram, <laughs> and like video editor. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, because yeah. 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 you're least, doing all the editing and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he edits all the audio, chopping it all up. Yeah, yeah. just balance all the shit, make it sound good. Yeah. yeah, make it so you don't, you know. But man, the, you know, the prep work on it is 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 a whole other job besides yeah. that, like setting it all up and. We'll yeah. see. Oh, we leave this but more or less set up. Like this is. Like, I'm just eh. saying, like just the just the prep of yeah, social media or to create content <laughs> in general. Yeah. Just yeah. Well, so, thanks you know, for buttering our bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's wild is like I was thinking about this the other day. I was uh, because you know like during the the whole lockdown thing, I just said, man, man, fuck all social media. I'm not like I'm not mm-hmm. interested. Sure. I'm, re- I'm not really gonna go on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and I just took a little bit of a break, and I think it was a needed break. I bet. I bet it felt um, good. It, w- yeah. it was great. But what I real realized was um, the amount of creativity that is removed um, for feeling like you have to constantly create all this content. Um, it it it. it, it when you step back from it and you, you don't put your time and energy into that, the amount of creativity that starts to come back to you oh, sure. because you're a creative person naturally yeah. is really wild. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people and spread themselves thin to get something out every day, every day, every day, every day. Yeah, yeah. And then well, if you just yeah. spend, you do it every three days, it probably would be a better and more, more better content. Yeah, yeah. Better content, yeah. more feedback than just spreading yourself out and trying to get three. All right ones. Yeah. I think so. Well, I think that, you know, there's, there's dudes that do it and that's Absolutely. what they're, that's what, that's what they're doing. And they're millionaires and that they're just great at it. Well, there's and yeah, but there's also guys that are, you know, just starting to make a, a little bit of a living. They've got, mm-hmm. you know, 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers or 80,000 subscribers. Um, and they're trying to keep rolling this content, but that's, that's what they're doing. That's uh-huh. their job. Right. Yeah, that's all they do. Yeah. That's what they yeah, do. No day yeah. jobs. Yeah. You're really kind of banking on, yeah. you know, creating that content, getting the ad revenue, mm-hmm. b- building your online brand. It, yeah. It's great. It's a talent. Uh, oh, you for know, sure. I love creating and making little videos and I've made a lot of the, them in the past. Yeah. And it's really been because I've been in, in a, um, a position where I didn't have a lot of projects going on and I just, I needed to, uh, I needed an outlet. Sure, sure. You yeah. Know, uh-huh. To do a punk aristocrat video yeah. or make yeah. a I countdown. Like the, yeah, those doing doing all these so different good. things. And yeah, yeah. And they're, they're fun, but when you start doing that, you go like, this is a job. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole job. Yeah, it takes absolutely. an entire day to make one this, of those. This yeah. isn't you just filmed yeah. a video that's yeah. five minutes long. This is you filmed like 40 minutes, cut it down to five minutes. You yeah, spent yeah. all the time, like you said, setting up, yeah. getting it ready, then recording it. Then, then editing, editing it. it. Yeah, yeah. Then po- just uploading put, it. You know, polishing it up and yeah. then putting it out. Yeah. And then uploading it takes time. Yeah. Having to advertise your own self, push it out to people. Yeah. It's a whole other fucking job on top of it. Well, yeah, yeah, and then you get through with like all the editing side of things. You're like, ah, oh, man, this it looks great. I'm, I'm happy with everything. 
now I gotta fucking upload this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I sit gotta, and wait. I gotta tag wait. it. It's gotta I gotta render. Gotta title it. Yeah. I gotta share it. Yeah. I gotta now promote it. Oh god. <laughs> and then you move into that other thing. You're like, no, nah, this is. So yeah, I took a step back from it. Good call. And it it was it was a really good call. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I, I, I think like creatively and mentally, it just frees you from like even the news, man, and all that shit. Of I course. just like nah, yeah. I'm painful, done. isn't it? I'm done yeah. with all. It of hurts it. a lot yeah. right yeah. now. You oh know, I do God. my own research yeah. on things that I'm interested in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's and, what you should do nowadays. And, exactly, it's a better idea. Yeah. But dude, back in the day, what news was supposed to be our truth like yeah, yeah. outlet. You're supposed to be able to believe in the news. Yeah, yeah. And it is oh. so far from that now. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's pure it's editorialism now. It's yeah, pretty it's an opinion. It's an yeah, opinion yeah. and it's it's yeah. really, really made for, for clickbait. Yeah. That's yeah. all it's made CNN for. CNN is that now. What sucks like, is we kind of are at fault at making it like are. that too. We did. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's designed for humans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing um, is, though, is like it, it's fine because we're we're in a cycle, and the yeah. the, the, the cycle of bullshit that we've all been going through is coming to an end. Is it I the hope si- so? Is it the I singularity? So. I think you're right. I think you're I'm right. an optimist. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Me too. I like to believe yeah. you, that. You got to, dude. Or else, what the fuck <laughs> are we doing this for? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of negative motherfuckers I out know. there. Though, <laughs> They're just like, dude, how <laughs> sad is your life? <laughs> and, and, yeah. and you know, man, you know, it's funny. Is like it's. Right before this whole shutdown thing, I was already in the mode of like uh, uh, using my contact delete button often. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, sure, Dude, no nah. thanks. No, but that you know sufficiency. You're, you're only as good as the people around you. Yeah, and if yeah. you have contacts that are holding you down, and you're yeah. just nah. you're keeping that. Or that you haven't thing. contacted in a million years, <laughs> you know, like yeah. yeah. There was a lot of that Ryan happening. Cabrera. I know, like during yeah. the lockdown, people were you know facetiming and i did it i did it probably the second or third week i you know got on with a bunch of my buddies and everything that's just because i couldn't go to the bar of course <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah we've done yeah. some zoom drinking yeah. with some people yeah yeah it'd be, it'd yeah. be like it would be a tuesday and it'd be like zoom i'm gonna have yeah. a fucking drink yeah. <laughs> <It'd be> 9 a.m <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then it's like well i know i know one of these guys are up yeah. you know? <laughs> and then before you know it's four in the afternoon and you're like yeah, you're gone. I think yeah. I may have talked to you on one of those days. Maybe, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe like <laughs> mid-morning. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> mid-morning. I think it was like, yo, you got time for a chat? I'm like, I'm here. And then yeah. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was like 10 minutes. I, yeah, I was definitely drinking. I remember that conversation. Cause yeah. I, got off, I, I remember getting off the phone with you going like, I don't know if I made any sense. Well, <laughs> I was trying to explain. Oh, we've learned to speak Hollis. Of, we've learned to speak Hollis. I was like talking Gary oh, yeah, yeah. Glitter and like. Yeah. <laughs> and Billy Squire. After doing, Billy and Billy no, no, Squire. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah dude. Hollis, <laughs> af, after doing three singles with you, we've learned how to translate a little bit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. When we've Craig, definitely interpreted Craig came in, he was like, before. so Hollis said, <laughs> Gary Glitter? <laughs> and Billy Squire, and I was like, <laughs> "All right." I was like, "This we'll is the song it. we listen we'll to." I was like, "All right, I think I can speak this, Hollis." Yeah. We're a blank like, slate, dude. It. You can suggest <laughs> anything to us. Yeah, yeah. We'll try well, it. It was yeah. just like you know, like the thing is, is like when I hear songs from from new like artists that a song that I just don't know right sure. off the bat. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. The first thing I, I, I do is like, I just immediately think of another song. Yes. Yeah. And I'm I think like, we all do oh that. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. And it just reminds me like this thing. And, and usually, because I've got a pretty good uh, category of, of, uh, of musical knowledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like I can dig. And yeah. it's just really random. Yeah. And like the Billy Squire thing, it was because you did something in a chorus with the voice and I was like, yeah, it's really cool. You know, because there was like one that was like this cool shuffle beat, and I was like, yeah, like, and and it was like more of a straight, straight, straight kind of. Yeah, you shuffle straightened it out. Thing. You straightened it out. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, let's yeah. let's let's not swing it. Let's yeah, yeah. like. And then that was like that. Um, it was either one one of I the two. I think that was Need a Rush. That sounds like probably Need a Rush. No, 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 that's newer ones. One was it's like a, I think it, I think <laughs> those it was are the a, two newer ones. I think it was a. Straight oh, you mean literally the last? Yeah, yeah, the last. Yeah, they're not even oh, released. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. You don't I remember know. coming in here and we're listening to Gary Glitter songs? You don't remember that? We're listening to Barry. I remember <laughs> that, but I thought that was for the last. Oh two no, that's for did. the ones that we <laughs> just did demos. That's hilarious. Fucking, how long have we been working on these songs? Good news. Hopefully, you speak us. Yeah, right. I've learned to adapt. Yeah. <laughs> my surroundings <laughs> yeah yeah exactly gotta blend yeah. <laughs> but Shit. yeah man so all the social media stuff you know it's it's um it's it's one of those things that's i i, I personally have been um 
you know, early on, right before I just really kind of started tapering off of, of social, yeah. um, I was following what all the the bands were doing yeah. and how they were using their social media and how they were interacting with their fan base. And I thought it was really creative. Um, I've seen that kind of taper off now because I think we've lost our enthusiasm because yeah. this thing has dragged out for so mm-hmm. long. Yep. Um, but those first sorry, couple of weeks... Sorry, I'm admitting this. I'm a little bit stoned and your drawl just came out just a little bit in that last it. sentence. And I mean, yeah. I'm Southern. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. It was adorable. I fucking love it. Because su- like, to me, you're such this LA guy. Like, you all... I'm, I'm fucking I mean, Hollywood. You're a Hollywood man. as fuck. <laughs> yeah. But then just like a little hint of the drawl just came back all of a yeah. sudden. It was, it Southern was, charm. It was great. Yeah, yeah. Peaks out every yeah, now yeah. and then. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure it's going to get much worse. Oh, we're only on class one right <laughs> now, <laughs> we man. We haven't had our first drink yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry, I interrupted you. We well, even want to get back to Nashville. It's yeah, going to yeah. start coming back out. Oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah, that I bet. Yeah, yeah. pretty. It, it'll be quick. Okay. Yeah. A week. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think sorry, I interrupted you. The, the, Hollywood, the Hollywood can't leave. No yes. way. I do mean, think, I think, yeah, yeah. Just wear those glasses you can't take around. The LA you're pretty, the you're pretty yeah. much be all right, nah, buddy. man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I embrace it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you should. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Where, the, where the fuck was he, though? He was going somewhere. It was oh, good. Oh, no, I was just saying about yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah, we, <laughs> those, those first couple of weeks of oh, lockdown, social media. The, social media, the, yeah. the creativity of, of the bands, it was really inspiring. And, yeah. like, I, I, I bought a lot of merchandise. You know, so I, I really yeah. did. I was yeah. I was buying a lot of merch because oh, cool. if I saw people doing interesting things, I was like, I'm definitely yeah. going to support. A lot that. of masks. Yeah. No, no, I oh, didn't no. buy a single mask. No. <laughs> um, but like, uh, just the way that they were presenting and and uh, selling something without selling it at all, I liked that. And I, I think that what's going to end up happening, we have a lot to talk about. I know. We really do. As, I know. As as like we just, really where do. Where the music business is right now. And Dude, like what we're on Nation. drink one. We got a while. We got a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, so, so it, you know, you'd see a, a single release or you'd see a T-shirt release that, that those guys had made for their tour. Right. And now they don't have a tour. And so now they have all this merch yeah, that was made shit. for that tour. I didn't even think about that. So you're looking at like guys going like, okay, yeah. these guys just probably dropped three grand yep. or yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, yeah, ten, yeah let's yeah. say it's even ten grand for big tours, dude. You buy yeah, a shitload of shirts for big I yeah, tours. Yeah, just even that. small guys, yeah. right? That might have a box. A we haven't bucks, bought dude. merch in for fucking ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But like, you yeah. buy a box of you know five hundred tees or two hundred and fifty tees, you're you're out yeah. two, two grand. Yeah. Yep. So I was I thought it was really cool how some of these guys were going out and marketing and promoting the selling of of that merch. Yeah. So I followed and I I bought man I at, at one point I was probably buying two or three things a day. Hell yeah. From all over yeah, all yeah. over the world yeah. too. And that was kind of cool because like just yesterday I'm still receiving packages. I yeah. saw some shit that came in. Did yeah, it came some? in yesterday. Yeah. I think I ordered that like a month and a half ago. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I, I bet they're all late. shipping it themselves and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And like I've, yeah. I've still got like this one like limited edition vinyl record that I bought in London from this this boutique um, uh, uh, record store. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. And it was one of those things where it's like you got to support local record stores, yeah. you know, during this time yeah, period. Yeah. And I went to like this one in London and I bought a cool like limited edition piece. Still haven't gotten that. <laughs> and you're moving. And, and you're moving. I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank God I got a change of address. Okay, okay, okay. good, good, good. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, yeah, yeah and I think that what's going to end up happening is you're going to see the. There might have been bands. Com- going into this thing that had a bit more momentum going in yeah. but didn't use their social media properly mm. and, and that momentum's wanes a little bit yeah, and you're yeah. going to see the guys that didn't have a lot of momentum that are using their social media property that once this thing comes to an end they're going to be the ones that are probably on on top yeah, yeah. That's, so, and you guys are doing a great job with all your social well, thank media you. Thank you. Thank you. it's it is impressive yeah. and that, the reason i kind of like give the backstory if i understand how how much effort all of this yeah, stuff sure, takes sure, yeah. is you guys are on top Aww. of your uh, social thank you just got to get on your merch a little bit we yep. really uh, do we fucking yeah. do we fucking yep. do just sucks everything costs money <laughs> <laughs> money up God. front money up front yeah. Yeah, yeah we were looking at this thing it's like commission yeah. vinyl right yeah, and they'll split you a cut. But I looked into it further, and it's literally like custom vinyl. Like you record a song live for them, and you give them oh. that, and then they press it, and then it's it's live. So that, that doesn't do live it right. to vinyl. Yeah. Yeah, 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 
That's Sweet. cool. Jack White's got a truck that yeah, does yeah, he's that. Been doing right. That sort of yeah, he's been doing Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, That's yeah. cool. Yeah, we had thought that. The, so the original idea was we're going to take the four songs we did at this map studio yeah. and put it on a vinyl. And so w- what we thought was is they would just take a cut of like three or four bucks, which yeah, we didn't yeah. fucking care. But they would pr- press it all. But now it's it is not that. <laughs> it is not that. It's That's not too bad. that so cool. Back to the drive, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <boys. laughs> and well, you know, it's 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 so it it it's tough because you're right. You know the yeah. the uh, the upfront cost. Yeah. And you know the almost zero return yeah yes because exactly. what you inevitably do is you end Buy up all, giving yeah. you giving it all away yep. yeah as, that's why we're staying away from CD. marking yeah. it as you know marketing and promotion yeah, yeah. yeah. right yeah. and then what is what is uh what is a youtube uh, official video how much that's that's right. a grand right there right at yeah. least when like, do we get a vivo contract and then just putting, putting the song out i don't know if you want recording yeah. really I mean, at this point, I I, I, do, I don't think that yeah. you know oh, as as, as, a, as a working band, the way that you guys should be approaching everything is kind of the way oh, that I'm you're doing it. Oh, I'm not basing everything contract wise. I'm just you know shouting out a brand name. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Fuck saying they're shit. not gonna yeah. give you any money. Yeah. All they'll right. do is they'll give you a little bit more placement that mm-hmm. you know hopefully in yeah. return will will draw money. All right. There's there's no there's no good contracts anymore. I would believe that and, and, yeah, yeah. and, and by the way we can segue right into this but yeah. like the, the <laughs> no please do the, the live nation deal oh that, was, that was that I was just done saw that I just is saw um that. literally oh. literally fucking artists oh. it's insane um, isn't it it's fucking them bending yeah. them over and horribly horribly mutilatedly fucking them yeah, yeah. it's terrible yeah. Yeah. it's not what's I the deal i don't even know the deal all right so here's what oh. here's what's happening in a nutshell now yeah. I could be wrong. Who cares? I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. We'll say but, allegedly. Yeah. But allegedly, this is how it goes. Yeah. Um, everything that was in contract when we went into lockdown, any shows and any of that stuff that was already in contract, that was under contract. So if, if you guys had a $10,000 guarantee to do, go do a show, right. your contract is now minus 20% because... That contract doesn't it w- that doesn't exist any longer. Sure. Okay. So all contracts moving forward for any live performance show from them is twenty percent less Oof. that they're taking yeah. from you. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Another twenty percent of the next. Now, one. Yeah. all bands have to be responsible for their own lodging. <laughs> yeah. You have to book it. You have to pay for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Your shit. <laughs> and um, and. And, and and food, yeah, yeah, yep. of course, catering, yeah. yep. And yeah. if you cancel, if you cancel, it's double. Yeah. So if Celine Dion has a performance and she gets laryngitis that day, and she yeah. physically can't sing, she and she had a one mil, she had a one million dollar guarantee, she would have to forfeit two million dollars for that cancellation. There are no more cancellations. What? Yet, yet. What? And twenty percent, by the way. Yeah. Allegedly, I bought my daughter <laughs> uh-huh. nice. Billie Eilish tickets okay. for her Christmas present. Uh-huh. No refunds. $600 a fucking ticket. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they won't give a refund because they haven't canceled the show. They've postponed it. Oh, no. Indefinitely, they've yeah, postponed yeah. it. But they but haven't you will canceled. go to that yeah, show. Just, so just they, yeah. TBD. They yeah, can, yeah. Billie Eilish, she, she's not even going to be relevant by the time this thing's over. <laughs> <laughs> she's done. <laughs> Yep. She's done after this first album. Uh, yeah, sweet. She's yeah. lucky to do half of what she did on her first record on the next one. I'm not being ugly. Yeah. Le- yeah. I love Lord too. I love Lord. Lord Great record. Out. Great yeah. record. Yeah. 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 Uh, who, I don't know. Who? Is the second one's hit Lord? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, you mean Randy Marsh, right? Randy Marsh. Yeah, yeah. She waited so long and <laughs> She's like you know she's a she's a kiwi that lives in a cabin Lord with her shit. with her cats. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't give a fuck when this thing yeah. comes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when it comes out, it's going to be how she wants it done, and yeah. you know, An integrity out the ass. That's what yeah. I admire. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. they milked Billie yeah. Eilish dry. They really did. Grammys. Really it's her. like, hey, um, yeah. hey, why don't you go do uh, Hot Wings? Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. 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 Go do that one, and then after Hot Wings, we're going to put you on. Whatever fucking else is there to put somebody all, all of it, things. all, all of, it. of it. So Madonna, let's just use Madonna as an Did example. Did she do Hot Wings yet? No, but no. Madonna oh. next season. Madonna, oh. the way that they would have worked that was 
What they did with Billie Eilish on album cycle number one, they would have taken three albums to do with Madonna. Yes. Three albums and three tours. And that's how sure. you build a franchise instead of a flash in a pan, yeah. right? I mean, people just Grammys don't. and a Bond song immediately? A Bond yeah, song. Yeah, a Bond that song doesn't immediately. happen. Paul McCartney was out of the Beatles by yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Cornell was out of Soundgarden yeah, yeah, by yeah. that Like, yeah. I mean, what, Adele yeah. got a Bond song after what, album number two? Uh, th- uh, three? Two or three. It doesn't matter yeah, because yeah, she's yeah. Adele. Yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah she's still going. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Jack White tricks. and Alicia Keys. Oh, yeah. But they were already Jack, too, but they were already Jack White. They were already Jack White. It was not the Keys. White yeah, Stripes yeah. doing. It was Jack White and Alicia Keys. Don't get me yeah. wrong. I'm not shitting on Billie Eilish because I think that she's a talented singer. I think she's a talented she's writer. Cool. Yeah, yeah. She I can whisper. Her brother's awesome. Brother. Yeah. Billie Eilish is hot. Let's face it. She's she's underage. but No, she's not. Not anymore. She's 18. Fantastic. She's hot. But. She she's she's talented. She's got charisma. She's got yeah. personality. I just I, I just think that the vultures in the music industry um, that, that only are focused on dollars and not like extreme longevity. Yep. Yeah, and that by that I mean well, they're just not. Yeah. I mean legacy. I mean yeah. I mean Stevie Nicks. Right. Yep. Lasting power. Because because Katy Perry is never going to be in that category. No, I like Katy Perry though. <laughs> not more lasting power than Billie Eilish. <laughs> I like Katy Perry though. <laughs> nothing, nothing to do with what you said. <laughs> no, no, fuck that. I like Katy Perry. Uh, no, she's. But, li- I mean, she's lasted longer than I think Billie Eilish will. Don't you think? She's also a horrible person. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't know. You probably know more than I do. Isn't she with Orlando Bloom? Is she? Yeah. Is she? Is that a thing? Is that real? I don't pay attention Maybe. to what? celebrity yeah. marriages. I'm. Katy Perry's having Orlando Bloom's kid? Yeah. yeah That's dude. hilarious. All right. Know, right? That's awesome. So she went from Travi McCoy to Russell Brand. Was there someone in between? I'm sure know? there was a bunch in between. She was a Christian artist and then Warp Tour Warped and now. Tour. Russell Brand left her with like no explanation and like a note. <laughs> uh, that yeah, should yeah. tell you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Oh, Russell Brand left you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. He, like started okay. meditating and shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that? Uh, did they debunk it or the thing? He had to go find God after being married <laughs> to Katy <laughs> Perry. Didn't she? Uh, she tried to buy a convent, and yes. the, this the, is a true story. Yeah, what? and there was a there was a in a Los Feliz. It was a, a, suit. A, a nun. It was yeah, a, I can yeah, get you more tequila. Yeah, it's an old, it's a commune on a beautiful untouched piece of property that's been in the Catholic Church for since Los since Angeles, yeah, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. The inception of Los Feliz, it's, yeah, yeah. it's been there. Right. And she wanted the property, and allegedly, yeah, yeah. she went to she went to somebody <laughs> in, in, in government, and... Just bought it? She, she, she had them, like, oh, she, oh no, she went to the, she went to the Catholic, the Roman Catholic Church, and she, she placed the bid, and basically, she kicked the nuns out of their their house. Wow! Because she wanted the property, right? Yeah. Wow! And they filed a lawsuit. Person. They filed a lawsuit I'm with sure. her, and all like the yeah, nuns, yeah. like the nuns came off the property. They never leave the property. Like it's like, yeah, they're like, they're, yeah. They're, they're, like, they're not gonna go hardcore ground, nuns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? They're not gonna leave. You think they're gonna fucking leave? Yeah. And they're old ladies too. Like it wasn't like they're Crazy. breeding these new nuns in. It's it's like these are old women that grew up there their entire lives. Uh-huh. Yeah. Katy Perry didn't give a there's, Okay, I, I like her songs. Did she I lose? Know, I didn't didn't know she lose and not shit. get it though? That's crazy. Huh? Didn't they not give it to her or something? Right? Or didn't something? No, I think she got she it. She still got it. Yeah. Oh, there's shit. this little. Uh, there's this little quick <laughs> urban nice. myth that during one of the trial, the court hearings, yeah, uh, yeah Katie's you know it like the plaintiff, you know, and uh, one of the nuns is like at the stand, mm. and she's like, just please don't, and then she dies like yes. on the stand. Oh my god! No, it's true. That's a true story. The nun. The nun. <laughs> She she dropped the dead. Fuck? She dropped dead in the courtroom. <laughs> but that doesn't make the news. I know, oh. right? No. Wow. Is that Warner Brothers? Yeah, I didn't know. Is that, that Warner Brothers? Is that Sire? What is that? What is, that? is that? Who's uh, who's her contract? Who's handling that? Right. Oh, it's probably, Satan. Probably, probably, if yeah, you, yeah. It's, it's, it's Satan. Yeah, it's Satan. So Harvey wow. Weinstein. Okay, maybe. Yeah. I, mean, I still company. like her songs. Is the problem? That's well, it's the machine, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're supposed yeah, to. Yeah, like that's Max Martin. Yeah. I like Max Martin. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, like, like when Martin. we get into when we get into like when we when you when you don't look at the 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 bullshit of the human 
being like oh yeah separating vomit. art <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 and you go into the musical side yeah, it's, yeah. it's really cool but again yeah. this is this is the this is the you know the the problem the that debate, we have right? with yeah. with social media is that when we were all kids growing up and you wanted to know what Motley Crue looked like you had to go buy a circus <laughs> magazine or yeah, a metal right? edge magazine yeah, yeah, and yeah. open it up and go god yeah yeah, yeah. that's Motley yeah. Crue yeah, right yeah. that's awesome yeah. right, right I want to look like that mm-hmm. yeah Past that, now it's like, man, I don't give a fuck what Taylor Swift eats for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care. And I, I don't know why that's important because the thing is, is what happens is when you when people know too much about you, it skews your vision artistically. And as an artist, sure. I would think that you'd want to maintain a, a wall or a level of walls around you to, to keep your... Mystique. Your, your, yeah. Well... You want your fans to love your music and not you. Well, like when I, your fan I, I, knows at, as much at as the you, end of the day, though, I think that like, you have to like you want to love yourself more. Sure. Yeah. And you know, there there's something ab- about keeping shit to yourself to an extent. You know, the, yeah. the mystery is good. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you know, making people like, well, who is that? Well, how do I? Th- I don't know. Like, there's. <laughs> And there's 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 bands now that are starting to do that. And listen, it irritates the shit out of me because like when I hear something that I like, I want to know everything about it immediately yeah, right yeah. now. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, I found that like with the bands that are completely lacking anything anywhere, <laughs> you have to just kind of wait. And then you have to dig a little bit more and you might see an article here and like the band doesn't do articles. Well, yeah. okay. Well, I'm gonna fucking fly to England and go watch this band, ah. right? Mm-hmm. You know, it, so it, it really is like this big attraction for me. But we're, we're missing a lot of that, oh, and, totally. and now we're so inundated with like, man, you got you got four. We're seconds. posting every single fucking day. You yeah, four content. seconds. Yeah. yeah, and I'm I'm in and out. I need to know all of everything that you're gonna tell me in those four seconds. It's crazy. It's yeah. wild. Our attention span's gotten that. There's zero attention. There is no. Attention. That's the why. That's bleak. why, kids, you should take up meditation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah right? really should clear out your mind for a second. Yeah, yeah, I've been meditating yeah. since I, since I was tw- twenty four. Fuck yeah. Twenty three. Hell yeah, that's great. And I got into it because I, I had insomnia problems. Yep. Uh, but because my brain creatively, if I wasn't drawing or working on music, in, especially in my twenties. It's all I've. Uh, it's all I thought about. Yeah. Just uh, like obsessively thought about, or I would sit there and I would listen to music, like intently listen to music, like meaning like pulling up the Beatles shit and just listening to a kick right. drum on a whole record. Right. Right. Yeah. Thinking <laughs> about the kick drum. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, go and listen to it again. We're gonna yeah. ride this wave. I like this. I go into it again yeah, yeah. and I yeah, listen yeah. to like the the hand claps or right. yeah yeah. I'd try and pick those out or like pick background out the, Pick out the or, percussion yeah. and. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I did that for so long that like pet sounds repeat pet sounds repeat uh, pet yeah, sounds man. repeat. I, I, I like I can tell yeah. you I can break that shit down. Do you right. do you have that? Speaking of the Beatles, do you have that Beatles book of like the complete yeah. sheet music? Yeah, I yeah. have that too. It's just I've, a, I've, a ha- I've had yeah. that. Yeah, have you found mistakes in it <laughs> for a long time? There's a lot of mistakes in it. I don't know. Like yeah. I'm not. I'm like I'm not a nerd. Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a huge nerd. I'll I've yeah. found there's t- it's. F- I mean, it's every single. You Beatles have a song. degree in jazz. Yeah, yeah. you're a fucking nerd. There's, there's <laughs> mistakes in the Beatles book. <laughs> it's a great book. I fucking love that book, but there's mistakes in it. Hey, man. Would be, yep. I want to I want to see the segment of people that would say, yeah, there's mistakes in that. I think you, it's probably bigger than you think, dude. I would out, of our si- <laughs> out of our six fans, there's one. S- spoken from the man who says, oh, there's definitely mistakes in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I missed. I made mistakes driving down here, so yeah. I would. I would hope that there's like <laughs> there's so many Beatles. Like, I forgive them. I totally forgive them. It's still a great book. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. it really is. It's a, a great, great book. book. Yeah, yeah. It's a fantastic <laughs> book. But yeah, okay. I would, like no. uh, so I would I would I, I would go through that thing. I, I I did that from the time I was man maybe 12. Yeah, do you remember your first like love like album? Oh yeah, I was I was uh, 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 Beach Boys Endless Summer was my first album. Yeah. It was my my father's record. I still have it to this day. Yes. Um awesome. it was his record and I I played it I don't. I, I don't even know how many. <laughs> yeah, and do you still play it? Still. Yeah. I, if you hit play in your brain right now, you could do the. You just. You could hear the whole thing if it's. Well, yeah, like, and you, you know what the cover looks like. Yep. That's yeah. just All of you it. know. It's like I'll, I'll like, and I think that that kind of 
put me on my journey. Like I, I love California. Yeah. Like, I, I'm a California person. I'm a you know, California, Spirit. Yeah. At mm-hmm. heart. Like mm-hmm. I'm a Californian. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Um, I married a California girl. I had a California daughter. Right. Yeah. You know, I've embraced California. And you I spent love the last it. Tw- I mean, you're you still here. Years, technically, right? yeah. technically, just about, you're still here. Yeah, just yeah. About. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I mean, we have family here. We have our best friends here. So sure, we'll right. always be back. And no, we'll, we'll be back yeah, probably, yeah. you know, a couple times a year. And yeah, yeah. If you guys go into the studio and want me to work in, like, I'll be back yeah. and I'll do that. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not like, I'm. I'll yeah. never not be here. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But, you know, it's like, it's time. It's on yeah. record, guys. You heard it? You it's, heard it here it's first. Right, yeah. right, it's first. time. Okay. It's time. You know, the thing is, is like, what I have. Is Nashville home? Is like like that home? Um, I, I would say that it's, 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 it's like, Where's well, home? it's like, it's Los Angeles. Home for me is uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Fuck yeah. Okay. So I grew up in, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. My parents own a chain of music stores, uh, instrument stores. Mm-hmm. So uh, th- they, like, Shout as a, as a Brooks, as a Bruce. kid, man, like my parents owned the music store. Hell yeah! I was like always around all the all the musicians from like everybody from the local rock bands. You to were the, you were born to be Jason Hollis, actually. He really was. Now that you, that's yeah, that's a good piece that's right there. Epic as shit. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fantastic. So you always just had access to inst- any all instruments at all times. And, All the, I, and, and to, to the to the point where, like in high school, um, I would go and, and spend the spend the nights in the in the store. We would get new instruments in. Like I remember when like the <laughs> Roland RE like eight oh eight first came out. Hell Whoa! Yes. And I was like, "What is this?" Yes. And you put headphones <clears throat> on, you're listening. You're like, <clears throat> "Yeah, yeah." <clears throat> I call yeah, yeah. my I call my parents. Be like, "Can I can I just please spend the yeah. night in the store?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, we'll you know lock yourself in. We'll yeah, pick, yep. we'll, give you a sleeping bag. We'll, <laughs> we'll pick you up. Yeah, I brought my bag, my pillow. <laughs> we'll pick you up tomorrow around nine a.m. Hell Great. yes. I'd play the drums. I'd play on it. But yeah. you'd spend just hours sitting there, yeah. kind of playing on things. Oh, I'm and so <laughs> jealous of you, man. That's hearing so cool. all the. But yeah. you know, like like there was a guy Herman Jackson, and Her- Herman Jackson is like one of the finest b- blues and jazz drummers in in Nashville. Is is. He's also the older brother of Randy Jackson, who was, you know, in, yep. in, in Journey yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. basis for Journey. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know, right? It'd be like, oh, from American, I don't know, <laughs> no. fucker. From <laughs> Journey, <laughs> how do you think he got that gig? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Plus, he was also one of the great A and R people. He signed Mariah Carey. That's yeah. right. Like he found he found Mariah Carey in. A, uh, Both uh, of his other things don't matter because he was the guy that signed Mariah Carey. <laughs> he really he discovered. It. <laughs> no, I mean joke. that's why he still drives a Rolls Royce. That's why oh. he makes. Yeah, uh-huh. because he 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 found he saw her Ooh. singing in like a New York um, oh. airport lounge. What a find! Yeah, holy yeah, Christ. jackpot! Yeah. So uh, so Herman, I grew up with Herman. Herman plays with everybody. So I remember being like a, a very young kid mm-hmm. and Herman taking me to a gig to see P- uh, Professor Longhair because he was playing with Professor Longhair. And it's like, you know, who's, who died in 83, yeah. I think. Yeah. But also like, um, you know, the first time I met Ray Charles was because Herman the was first playing. first time he met was, Ray Herman Charles. Was, Herman was playing in his band. You meet the first time. You meet him a couple times <laughs> if you meet him once. That's yeah, all right. I know about Ray. It's a small <laughs> circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you ever meet Dr. John? Yes. Yeah. I fucking love <laughs> what Dr. the John. fuck is happening? How did I yeah. not know any of this? It's fantastic. <laughs> well, the segues. Oh, we we want to yeah, get to the root yeah. of no, Jason no. Ellis' music. No, sorry. You experience. Yes. The first time, the you, first met Ray time Charles. you met Ray yeah, yeah. Charles. All right, so Herman had brought me to a gig because Herman was yeah. playing in his band. Right. Ray and did not see you, by the way. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. He smelled them. <laughs> but I got to, yeah, got to meet, meet Ray, and I sat on stage. And uh, oh. this is Jazz Fest. And I, I, don't, I don't know what year this is at this Yeah, New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans Jazz Fest. Yeah, The Jazz Fest. And then Ray's How old ish were you? Oh I don't at that 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 was probably when I met Ray sixteen. Seventeen. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Around that time. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um the next year I went with, with Herman and he was playing with um um Alan Oh what the fuck's his name? Uh, anyway, it, it doesn't matter. His second gi- his second his second gig was um uh, was Chuck Berry. Oh. Uh. And so um, it was really wild. I was like, you know, such a huge Chuck Berry fan. And I, I was a big Ray Charles fan too, but like Chuck Berry. I Chuck was Berry. Like, He's Chuck Berry. Yeah. 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 And so I knew stories. I knew stories. 
about <laughs> Chuck, and uh-huh. I knew about kind of like how he how he handled business. And so <laughs> I'm sitting on stage, and the band is on stage, and the band is just playing like a a cool groovy Chuck Berry backbeat, and Johnny Johnson's on piano playing. You know, like jo- Johnny Johnson is Chuck Berry's sound, <laughs> yeah. and so he's playing the piano, and I'm sitting on stage, and I see a a a, a Lincoln uh, Continental or whatever, and it backs backs up to the stage, <laughs> and so Chuck gets out of the of the he's driving, yeah. he's Chuck's driving, driving, <laughs> <laughs> and then some some you know I, man I don't know probably some thirty two year old blonde lady got out of the yeah. the passenger side <clears throat> of course, yeah. and Chuck goes to the trunk he opens the trunk, and I've heard this story, so I was expecting this and yeah. I saw it yeah but he opens the trunk, and. And and the, uh, the promoter comes up to him and hands him a suitcase. Chuck goes to the trunk, puts his oh knee on the car, uh, opens the suitcase, and there's there's money in there. Of course, you can yeah. see it's money. Uh-huh. Shuts yeah. the thing, puts his amp in the trunk, uh-huh. and then the promoter gives him an envelope. Okay, so what I didn't know about the envelope was this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew about the ten grand before he even walks on stage. Woo. Sure. The envelope was Chuck Berry had this very rare uh, Fender amp. There's like there was like five of them made in the world, and he owns like three. So you have to rent his amp from him, or you have to find one exactly like Ooh. his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. the envelope was a stack of cash to rent his amp. Okay. Okay. So then. Chuck Dep- amp deposit, dude. Let's no, see. the rental fee. The re- oh, okay. Rental so fee. Chuck yeah. goes on stage, no deposit. and right when he steps his foot on onto the stage from the step up, he takes his watch and he turns it like this. Damn. Okay. They give him his guitar. He, wa- he duck walks on. Yeah. That's one duck walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Goes to a whole whole <laughs> list of songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get you're like you're just sitting there rocking out yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and uh. And then you see, like, ha- you know, in, into the set, you see Chuck looking at his watch because sure. it's turned upside yeah, yeah, yeah. down. Oh. Yeah. He does a duck walk. Yeah, yeah. Off, off the stage. Oh. Gives the guy his guitar, walks oh. down the stairs. The promoter <laughs> walks up, gives him another briefcase oh. because he finished the show. He opens the briefcase, looks at the money, shuts the thing, puts it in the trunk, closes the door. The blonde girl gets in. Chuck Berry drives off. What the fuck, fucking dude. professional! Wow! <laughs> what a exactly legend! That's exactly how it went down. That's exactly that's a legend. Whoa. That is a legend. legend. Right there. That is legend. Wow! <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> goals. <laughs> I mean, goals. Kind of, you know, rhythm, like, <laughs> incredible. Uh, yeah, that's what the, a legend. Wow! That's. I mean, that's, that's not a human way to do it, but it's a legend way to yeah, do it. Just like, I mean, listen, he got he, he, he got Dude. he got fucked so many times. Yep, so many times over and, and over and you, over and over. You've seen over. a sex tape, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. wee, yeah, yeah, yeah. folks, it exists. It is not widely spread, but it's readily, readily available. <laughs> <laughs> readily so available. It's worth <laughs> watching <laughs> twice. <laughs> You just need to type it in Because I rewound it, yeah, and yeah. I was like, we're Ooh, not even going to give you the link. What did he do? We know you're what curious. What did he just say? We know yeah. you're curious. Unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's that's pretty gnarly. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to <laughs> so you're going to these shows at, at 16-ish. You're, on, you're staring at Chuck Berry. Yeah, that was that was one, and I got to I got to meet Chuck that day. Are uh, you, so like, are you playing in bands yourself, or are you like... At that point, yeah, I was I was I was a musician, uh, drummer, and also played you know guitar and stuff like that. You I played a little bit of everything. Yeah, because you, you grew you up said playing all the first, things, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Like yeah. all the things at the store, you were just pl- learning how to play. Like you kind of had to because my my job was to like I, I you know I was a salesman. Yeah, you know, and like every in high school, well, f- when I first started at the store, I would go on weekends and I would clean band instruments. So I had to learn how to clean band <laughs> instruments because we had a rental department at our store. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the big thing was like all the all the rentals come in during the summertime because kids are out of school and then they go back out 
when school starts back up. So I would I would just be sitting there cleaning band instruments <laughs> for eight hours a day. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah, dude. It's crazy. Desanitize and it. Make sure all the pads are nice. Yeah. And then it turns what, into meditation at that point, right? Everything's yeah. meditation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oil yeah. on the keys. <laughs> so then I, I, as I got a little bit older, I was able to go in and start working in the shop. And there was like this guy named Mike McReynolds. He was like the big sales guy. That's that like did. the name. Yeah, I know, right? Mike McReynolds. <laughs> did you say gr- Mike McReynolds? <laughs> McReynolds. And he oh, became, Mick no, no. He became a pastor after that. That's yeah. another story because he was a total <laughs> drug addict when I knew him. Oh. But it, and it was great because he was like that that stoner like crazy yeah. like fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, let's go uh, snort some heroin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, oh, Mike. <laughs> so Mike McReynolds, yeah, and he, he ran the combo department. The combo department was uh, guitar amps, keyboards, PA, right. that kind of stuff. And then there was guitars out, out <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then there was drums and then sheet music and band instrument. So Mike ran the combo department. <laughs> and I like the combo department because that's where all the guitar amps and all the pedals and all, the, Hell yeah. all that stuff, the keyboards yeah. and all that stuff were, were in there. So I would go into the combo department and, and hang out. Mike would be working on, uh, like, trying to close a big sale. <laughs> and meanwhile, the store would get busy, and I would just start picking up naturally and, like, working yeah. with different clients. Mm-hmm. And, man, w- like, one one week came, like, one weekend came in, and, like, <laughs> the, the sales numbers came out. And, like, I would just write my name on the ticket or whatever. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, like, I'd, like, totally crush Mike McReynolds. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, like a 14-year-old kid. Yeah. <laughs> was he it's, the only – how big was the staff? Was he the only other one or – no, there's a few people. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like I think every department had uh-huh. had somebody okay, in there. Okay. But yeah. like you know, like my thing was like I'm gonna learn all of it. Yeah, yeah. and yep. I did. Of course, I learned like all of it, like even down to like the band instruments and and, and stuff like that. Because yeah. I knew that if I could sell it, then I'd make more money. Yeah. And if I could make more money, I could get like more booze, and I could have <laughs> parties, yeah. and I could buy, I Kid could buy shit. shit. Dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. want to yeah. buy shoes. Want to buy a skateboard. Yeah, I, wanna, I need shit. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you know, I, I did that. You know, all the way, man, from middle school, all of middle school, all of all of high school. By high school, by my 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 eleventh t- uh, grade year. Um, I had a pass to leave seventh hour and go to the music store and work. So I left yeah. every day yeah. and I went yeah. to the music store because I loved the music store that much. Of course. Yeah. yeah. You know, like I was around everybody, like all the, all the rock and roll. I knew, I knew everybody literally in fucking new Orleans too. Right. Baton so, Rouge. But Baton Rouge. I knew Sorry, everybody. I knew my everybody apologies. in Baton Rouge. Yeah. I knew everybody in new Orleans. My apologies. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew like, it's anything anything yeah, yeah. that was coming in yeah, yeah, yeah. so like high school man like junior and senior year it was just so insane because <clears throat> i was able to go all, go to all the shows mm-hmm. and, and and see every like all the bands coming through and um you know it's just it's it's one of those things it's you know it's like i, I think that probably the closest the connection that i would ever have to god would be music I believe yeah. it. And yeah. so I like, like that's how heavy it weighs in on me. Sure. So sure. I just have this like I have a love yeah. and a passion. So like high school was like fucking simple. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I worked yeah. at the baddest music yeah. store in all of Baton Rouge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I was on the commercials and everything. Of so course. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of so, like, course. I was a rock star there. Of you course. learned way you weren't you yeah. Uh, high school doesn't teach you any of that shit. No, 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 no. You don't zero. You know what's crazy? It's like my um my, my my pops came in one day and he was like, "Hey, I was just at the <laughs> Nam. I was at, at, at this really great Nam seminar, uh-huh. and you know they were talking about holding contests within your store. And he said, I had this really crazy idea of like, what if we did like a guitar contest in our store, and we did it regionally where people could come in and they could compete to be like the best yeah. guitar player in Baton Rouge. And yeah, I was yeah. like, it's a fucking great idea. <laughs> it's a fantastic. I was like, yeah." yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And uh, so we we did that, and we I don't remember when the first one was, but it was maybe 1987. No, did shit. it become an annual thing? And it, it was called Guitar Wars. Yeah, <laughs> and the first one was was yeah. the first one was so successful that like our we did it in in our in our music store. We mm-hmm. just kind of pushed all the instruments and made yeah, yeah. room. Yeah, put seats up. 
the first one was over capacity and people outside. Nice. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so the next year we went to a, a like the Baton Rouge Little Theater. It's a small theater. You rented that a fucking, place that out. You, had, was, you needed a bigger space. That thing though. was yeah, packed yeah, the yeah, next yeah. year. It was packed. <laughs> so we did the Baton Rouge Little Theater two years in a row. And then we moved to the the like the, the Baton Rouge Centralplex where like <laughs> a concert would come in and that's where the concert <laughs> would play. Hell yeah. And we did it. We did it. We did it regionally. Like LA Phil is touring through. It was You're wild. doing Guitar Wars. <laughs> so we did, <laughs> we did Guitar Wars and we did Drum Wars. Nice. And so when I was awesome. when I was in my senior year of, of high school, um, like I got DW drums Sweet. into our store because I really wanted DW, uh, a DW drum set in there to be able to sell. I liked them. Mm-hmm. Like, so we were the only people like in Louisiana that carried DW, DW drums. Mm-hmm. Gretsch as well. I was like a huge Gretsch fan. Team Gretsch. Oh, so yeah. I was, like, Team started Gretsch. getting all the Gretsch. Yeah, yeah. My family's yeah. Gretsch too. Yeah. And um, yeah. So, so like Case the... Point. Case in point. The, the drums came in, and, or, uh, so we started doing drum wars, and I was already like in with the DW guys, so I was already planning on moving to, to California. So I'd, I'd been planning on moving to California since I was 15. I started saving <laughs> nice. up money. <laughs> you were already nice. planning. So by the time nice. I, I, I left the day I graduated high school. Woo! Yeah. That's yeah. fucking sick. That's fantastic. <laughs> the day you graduated. You all was packed. Yeah, yeah. I had my place packed. Like my place was already rented. Hell yeah! I, I was on I was on Larrabee and Sunset. I was above, I was like, the street right above Where's Tower Larrabee? Records. <laughs> oh, my yeah. balcony yeah. overlooked the roof of Tower Records. Sweet, that's where I was. Whoa! Yeah. So anyway, I, when I left the music store, uh, the Guitar Center guy said, "Hey, come to L.A. and you can go work at uh, Guitar Center Hollywood or Sherman Oaks, mm-hmm. whatever." I was like, "Great." Got a job when I get there. It's a music store. Yeah, yeah. Easy. I know how to yeah, do it. Shit. But yeah. anyway, the <laughs> the the dudes from DW. That's hosted, also a great segue. We could get into that. But okay, yeah, DW. Yeah, yeah. The guys from DW yeah, hosted yeah. a party for me when I when I first moved out here um, for, f- to LA from Baton Rouge. Okay. And so I went to John Goodman's house, and we had Ooh, this we had this cool John party. Goodman. And um, okay. I showed them my the I showed them my tape from drum wars and the fact that we were using the DW kits. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hell yeah, yeah. And the guitar work, the, the, the guitar center guys were there and I was meeting like the buyers and like I met the owner yeah. and all this stuff. And that was a segue for me to get in with uh, guitar center. Gotcha. And, and one of the guys that I forgot what the guy's name was, but, um, he was the head of, he was John the McJohnson? John, John Goodman. It was John <laughs> Goodman. <laughs> Drummy <laughs> Drummer said. Drew Farley. Of Drew Perfect. Farley. Yeah, yeah, Shout out Drew Farley. <laughs> Drew. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was the head of the drum department for all of Guitar Center, right? And he's like watching this tape going like, how long you been doing this? I'm like, Man, like this is our fourth one. It's like it's annually now. It's like just gets yeah. bigger and bigger every year. And it's like, it's fucking awesome, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. That led them into doing, doing guitar center the guitar center yeah, yeah. great yeah, yeah, yeah. the drum. So off. you invented the guitar center drum. Off. I'm not going to say that, but yeah. alleged- <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the credit. Allegedly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. allegedly. Yeah. Hey, I'll give you credit. I'll give you the credit. Well, shout out what Scott Farley, Drew. Go Drew fuck Farley. yourself. Yeah, Drew, fuck you, Drew. <laughs> okay, I yeah, wish yeah. I could remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Cr- Drew Farley. <laughs> it's, it's Chris Farley. He's it's Chris dead. Farley. He's dead. It's Chris Farley. But yeah, that's how like. You know, the thing was, was this is, you know, pre-internet and we were still doing, um, you know, using TV commercials and buying like local spots, right. you know, and things like that to, to, yeah. to yeah, of course. build a music yeah, shop. Sure, sure. But man, that, that shit created like it, that was, we had like this army of people, yeah. you know, it was like really, you really learn about marketing and promotion and about, about building f- not, not not a fan base, but building supporters. Yes, because yeah. you don't want to. F- yeah. fan bases are great. Supporters are fucking awesome. Even better. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. having something that can be yeah. deemed an like an attraction in a way, yeah. you know, like again make, longevity, make it, right? Make it something that's so like it makes people thirsty to want to come back. Like, I can't wait till next year when I can come back and try out for this shit again. Like, dude, yeah, that was so because sick. man, like you walked away from our thing. You were like the best guitar player in in in, in the state of Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. And even if you weren't, you still want to strive to beat that guy, and you still like went up in front of a bunch of people, which feeds a little something. Yeah, yeah, you know, know my, my job. Somewhere. My of job course. during that thing, like I hosted the last two when I was in town, but <laughs> my job was to go to all the the different vendors and 
build the um, like the, the rigs, the prize. Oh, the prize packages. Oh yeah, like you're gonna so win what you this. get for first, second, first, second, and yeah, third yeah, yeah. prize. And it was like I would yeah. go there and be like, "Come on, man! This is like this thing's getting bigger." You yeah. know, there was <laughs> there was four hundred people at the first one. There was yeah. like nine hundred at the second one. There's fourteen hundred. Like it's yeah. getting big. Like yeah, we're running yeah. national. We're running a uh, you know local yeah, commercials yeah. Yeah. and all over the state. And like before you knew it, like Drum Wars number two was like a DW drum set was like the prize with like full Zildjian cymbals yeah. and like Holy all shit. this yeah. crazy stuff. And then yeah, cases and oh. so the prize package is yeah. like. You know, We're that's yeah, that's yeah. the one thing that I, I, I really took um, like pride in was let's <laughs> let's give people something that's like fucking great. Yeah, worthwhile. Yeah. I'm not yeah. just getting a gift card to my you music exponentially, shop. Dude. You exponentially build an event that eventually becomes the spark for <laughs> Guitar Center's like, franchise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. 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 Right. Mm-hmm. But your happiest moment is building the rewards for the people. <laughs> hey man, I, I'm an That's I'm an wonderful. He's for the people. He's for the yeah. people. I've always been an I'm an artist guy. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, I almost got fired from China for 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 uh, for basically telling a billionaire like no, I, I would not allow that to happen. Oh. Not on my watch because I had guys out there that I brought out there, and they're artists at what they do, and some other dude was. He wanted. To, they were being paid Alleg- uh, allegedly being yeah, yeah. paid for a job uh-huh. that they came out to do, and then you've got somebody now that's pay- paying for that job. Mm-hmm. And these guys are all everybody's flexible. Everybody's an yeah. artist. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll make that work. Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah. It got to the point where it was like it becomes so micromanaged and so mm-hmm. crazy that it's like, ah, yeah, how, the, how, how's this gonna happen? And I kept stepping in. Yeah, I almost got sent home from China because like. <laughs> You don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Like, you just don't do... Because I was out there. I was supposed to be that guy's guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, like, I'm, I'm always the artist guy. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So, like, my 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 junior year... No, maybe, maybe my freshman year in high school, I started the A&R program at our store. <laughs> so, I was the guy... <laughs> I was the guy that if you came in and you had some clout in town, I would call the, the vendor up yeah. and be like, Hey, Remo. Yeah. Got this great drummer, man. Like he's like he's in the the coolest rock band here. Can we give him an endorsement? Can we do anything for him? They'd be like, yeah, man. Just you know, like <laughs> 50, 50 and fifty and ten. I'd be like, yeah, all yeah. right, cool. All right, Oliver. Here's what we can do. I can give you you know fifty percent off. You know, plus ten, mm-hmm. and then I can get you like one set of heads, like you know, yeah. for your next gig. I'll like, take it. Awesome. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now you're a Remo That's endorser. That's on the record. That's on the record. <laughs> now you're a Remo endorser, and like you just gotta yeah. like you know right. like only use Remo. Yeah. I only use Remo already anyway. And so like I Remo was give doing, me money. I was doing that with yeah, yeah. everybody. So sure. then it got around. By the time I'm a senior in high school, he is Remo. By the way, mm-hmm. he's, yeah. I do use Remo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ne- never mind you. By the time I was a senior in high school, yeah, yeah. I was making so much money. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I should have just kept doing what I was doing because it was yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> But by the time I was a senior in high school, like I, I, I had so many connections at that point that everybody just everybody came into me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, everybody. Yeah. It's like I knew everybody. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. Yeah, it's like oh, one, yeah. Yeah, once you know where to get your instruments from, and you yeah. have someone that you're cool with, oh. and that you know it's gonna be oh. personal. Or anything. And you just know that. All right, I'm just when I'm in Baton Rouge, do I need to pick up X Y Z? You just go like yeah, Jason. Yeah, yeah. Can you help me out, and you're just like need heads, need yeah, heads, come on need in, sticks. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. it'd be one of I those things where it's like, hey man, I know it's like nine. 50. <laughs> Go on stage in 10 minutes. I need, yeah. a, I need a gold top I need, last I Paul. Re- I really do you a, a favor. <laughs> <laughs> you do that one or two times, man, and the word travels. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, I, I it doesn't it. happen yeah. at a place like Garage Center. No, no not Garage Center. Yeah, we call it, yeah, we we call call it Garage, garage Center. Center. So yeah. I, I want to correct you earlier because that was... A, that was well, it's I mean, garage it's, it's totally become it a shithole lately, hasn't it? Yeah. It's For Garage Center. Over several years, it's become a Yeah, that was a bunch of practice booths. I tried to... I got that new bass, and I wanted to get... Uh, cotton trap because they're just like softer on you. Yeah. And there was like a line out, like maybe 12 people. So I just get in line. Yeah. And then like after 30 minutes, everyone's in that fucking store uh-huh. playing the guitar, dude. Yeah. Playing all the acoustic guitars. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I want to yeah. play every single one of them. You're like, this hasn't gone anywhere. Yeah, 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 I, moved. Yeah. I was like, fuck it, dude. Amazon. Yeah. Hey, man, my, <laughs> my, my parents retired last year and they sold their stores to a g- guitar center. Yeah. Oh. Damn. But they, so, they just retired a couple of years ago? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, they're, that's they, epic they went for a shit. while, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, for uh, forty years. Whoa! Whoa. Hell yeah! Yeah, for them. that must have been <laughs> tough awesome. for them to give it up then. At that it, point. Yeah, yeah. It, it, but the thing was, is like I, you know, I was talking to my pops, and I was like, pops is like, you, you, you gotta sell, man. I was like, it's it's never it's never going back to the to the times yeah, where, right. where yeah. like the best yeah. times that we ever had in that shop. We yeah. had those times. Yeah, yeah, yeah in nineties, yeah. dude. Now it's like it, take it. take the money. It's never going back. Shit's going online. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like yeah. You know, it's it's gonna take a resurrection to yeah. like get, only so get many kids Norman playing guitar rare again. Guitars. Rock is dead. You know, it's not even rock that's dead, but people want. Hey man, it's never gonna be Cheap. fucking dead as long as I'm alive. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. 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 I will stand up for it. And I will punch people in the face yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I believe. I agree. I, I believe in. I'm with you. I'm on in, you. I believe in loud shit, mm-hmm. and I believe in. You know, people plugging something in that, that that they can they can do with their hands yeah. that make things yeah. that then you can control volumes of that affect people. Yeah. I believe in that because I I just like you know as much as I hate fucking EDM, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, Dude, I, I can powerful. I, I can yeah, understand yeah. why people yeah. get into yeah. that scene. Yeah. But let me let me tell you what, man, that that scene's dead too. It is kind of, oh, it's yeah. getting stale. Hey, yeah. after, it's after, after Vegas got it's, shot up. It's gone. After Vegas got shot up at that country thing, EDM was like down over and over and over. Really? There was like some statistic. One of uh, Like did Insomniac go under or something? Or? No, and they'll never go under. And they're yeah. online by Live Nation. And, and the thing oh, is Live like, Nation? Oh. I didn't know that. that <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Insomniac was Live Nation. They're that, only that, getting more powerful yeah, now. Yeah, just the thing is, I did not it, know should, it, should yeah. never, it should never go under. Mm. Like a, electronic yeah. dance music has its place and it's got its thing. Yeah, it's it a sh- scene. It yeah. should be what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But being a fucking like stadium filled like mm. sweaty... Rave, thing? bad rave, bad rave. Dude, yeah. a nah, preset yeah. show where you make where you millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you do is walk up and be like, I wrote all this cool shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just electricity is flowing through you like Zeus as you're fucking zapping people. Don't uh. get me wrong. I, I love craft work, right? Yep. Yeah. But I like I EDM fine. But I don't know if I'm going to go into a crowd of 100,000 people. For Steve Aoki. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's, Steve just Aoki. Be, let's just be yeah, honest. Right? Dude, I just wouldn't. Like, I acknowledge it, yeah. but I don't see the talent in it. That, the produ- okay. No, no, it's all, all preparation. Right. All right. Like, all right. No, there, is something, there is something to be said. Yeah. Because there's something to be said yeah. for having an ear. The, per- and, and the, per- the performance? And performance? Performance. Zero. When music? electronic yeah. music became yeah. like, oh, we're a performance now, it's like, take away your lights. Yeah, yeah. Take away your lights, yeah. and we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, I mean, listen. As long as you don't take away the drugs, EDM is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun, and it's got yeah. its place. And there's yeah, yeah, yeah. a moment and time for all of it. I'm not one of those guys. Yeah. My wife, on the other hand, she came up in that scene. She ah. she came up with all the like Pasquale and like all those dudes. Yeah. Sure. She was going to like. You know where where they did scavenger hunt raves, wow. yes. meaning like you had to go yeah. to one spot and like yeah, yeah. do these clues for like twenty minutes to or get something. a thing yeah, yeah. to go to another spot yeah, yeah. and then the lead fuck? you out to the desert That's where there was right. a crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One's just the back of a semi truck for like thirty seconds, and you yeah. get a passcode or yes. something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can wait till a dude in a trench coat comes. The out underground right. party rave scene, man. That uh, was, and, and it was yeah, like so during cool. like the late eighties, early nineties, like she was like knee deep in it. Like I mean, her friends like created an insomniac. Her friends, cool. her friends run like all of those big ravey things. Like Aaron is connected to all of them. Cool, <laughs> and the, and and it's it's very weird because we don't like the same types of music. How did ah. you meet? How did you two meet? <laughs> uh, trannies. <laughs> uh, Yay! Elaborate, elaborate. Yeah, that's a yeah, great yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I need elaboration. <laughs> no, our, our our two best friends were these famous uh, tr- tran. Uh, Transgender. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We, yeah see, my it. age, I, I'm yeah. getting old now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not PC. Yeah, so. yeah. We'll bleep it. We'll bleep it. We're not going to bleep it. We're not going to bleep it. Anyway, gonna bleep anyway. Gonna bleep I think you said the right yeah. thing. So, yeah, yeah. 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 so my <laughs> transgender, alleged yeah. transgender friends. Yeah. Yeah. Alleged. There you alleged. go. Oh, you're set. They were like, they were this famous duo in the late 80s, early 90s called the Chanel Twins. Oh, And, um, Aaron and I both were friends with the the Chanel twins. Okay, and I'd met them through a group of people that I met out here when I first moved out. Uh, like a guy named Anthony Franco is a, a big uh, costume designer, mm-hmm. 
um, so it was like it was like this all this like this mutual friend yeah, thing. The circle well, just I up. I'd moved out here. Um, I just signed one band, and I had the Pink Spiders. Yeah. Uh, I was in the middle of like this Pink Spider deal. Yeah, yeah. Shout out those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pink Spiders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pink hey, Spiders. Matt, I'm coming to see you next week. Yeah. yeah. Um, They're in Nashville. Are they all? Yeah. In, yeah. I can't wait. Hell yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, so we're in the middle of this Pink Spiders deal, and uh, in like about a one year period, maybe like a nine month period, my my friends hit, were, were like saying, "Hey, man, we, we've got this this girl you need to meet." Like oh, we they really set think you up. They're trying to set us up, and. It was like over a course of, I would say like eight months, okay. right? They were trying to set us up. And I just didn't have time. She was busy. At the time, Erin ran a, a very successful clothing company. She did. She designed and manufactured clothes. Sick. And it, it, just, it just never worked out okay. where we could meet. Yeah. So anyway, we went to another mutual friend's house. For his his uh, housewarming party, he just bought this new house up in Lake Hollywood, and you know, a doctor, yeah. great view. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so had this great party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyway, we're we're at the party for probably two hours with my my group of friends. Okay. And this girl walks in, and then another girl walks in. I was like, oh my god. I was like, Kevin. Mm-hmm. It's like that's the girl I'm gonna marry. He's mm-hmm. like, oh my god, that's the girl <laughs> we've been trying to set you up with yeah. for eight months. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. So right. it is the girl I'm going to marry. Yeah. I, I wasn't yeah. even thinking that. I was like, yeah, oh my yeah. God, she's so odd. It's like, can you just go introduce me? Yeah, yeah. So we met. And like at that moment, I was just like, and so I like, I stayed right with her the whole night. Yeah. And every, all, like all my friends were like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I was like, all right, I got to go. Can I get your number? I got her number. I got into my friend's car and I called her. I was like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're still talking, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you remember me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we kept talking, and then yeah. we made a plan. Um, the the day that I signed the Pink Spiders to Geffen Records, thank you. Uh, oh no, no, no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm. Um, when when all right, so when the Pink Spiders were going through their bidding war, thank you, saw This is uh, 2005. This is the very last of of of. Of bidding, of bidding wars. Yeah. Okay, um, and I, I'm I'm very lucky and fortunate that I was able to 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 experience one mm-hmm. because yeah. I'd only read about them. Yeah, you know, and we will only ever read about them. Prob- from maybe, now on, maybe, from but now maybe on. not. Yeah, it just, right. it just depends right. on what type of deal you know happens and 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 in what format. Right. But at this point, like record deals, like a real record deal with a proper big fucking massive record label. Mm-hmm. I'd only read about it. Yeah. And I was in one. And I, I wouldn't say that I was prepared, <laughs> but I was like probably I was in my element. You were ready. <laughs> you were ready. Yeah, yeah. Were, I was I was, I was in my element. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so during the like this this yeah. bidding war, yeah. I, I just kept uh, it was just it was topping it topping it topping it yeah the guys were like hey man we want to go to six flags all right cool hey so the guys want to go to six flags but we're not standing in any lines <laughs> we want limos there yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah we we have to have booze mm-hmm. and like again man no lines yeah all right man no uh, i mean uh, like listen wh- when you guys want to go of course of course we'll meet mm-hmm we want to go like yeah, we want to go Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. T- today is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday is like the busiest. Yeah, yeah. but man, like, yeah. I mean, Virgin <laughs> said that they would do it. All right, yeah. we're gonna make this happen. <laughs> really milking it. I like it. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, yeah. wait, it I'm gets better. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were in um, Magic Mountain. Yep. We took uh, uh, Mercedes Sprinters there. We smoked Cuban cigars on the way with the president of the of the record company, <laughs> mind you. Fantastic. <laughs> and we get to the park, and the park is fucking empty. Whoa. So we pull up to the park. They'd stopped 
they'd stopped the the park and the park is starting to like people are coming in oh yeah. is it early it's early okay, okay. we were like yeah, you yeah. know it was like right when it opened okay yeah, okay, yeah. okay they're stopping mm-hmm. people but we pull up we walk straight in <laughs> they move us in and we have the park <laughs> and we had the park for an hour and a half they were holding it <laughs> so we got to run around and and so we get to run around this park for an hour like ride everything with yeah, yeah. nobody there yeah, it yeah. was <laughs> Insane. As the line builds for night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you make on everyone wait. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. And so, like, the, uh, the president of the company leaves, and then, like, uh, I, you know, inevitably, like, an hour and a half later, people yeah, yeah. start coming in. Right, right, and right. We've written everything yeah, twice. Yeah, you've, you've <laughs> yeah. done it twice. So yeah. we stay until, like, 8 o'clock at night, and we've got these Mercedes Sprinter vans taking us back. <laughs> they take us back, and I call Aaron, and I'm like, hey, um, so I'm I'm just getting back from this, this project, but, like, <laughs> project. 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 Are you are, are you are, are, are you available for dinner? She's like, it's getting late. It's nine thirty at that point. <laughs> okay, it's getting late, but nine thirty. But yeah, okay. Yeah, it's like, oh, she said yes. all right. So I'm gonna be back to Santa Monica in an hour, <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna take me forty five minutes to get to your house. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to her house, pick her up really yeah. late, yeah. and we go to this place called Iroha, and um, <laughs> on on Ventura Boulevard, a sushi place. Sat in this table, and like after that, it was just like. Com- completely done mm-hmm. just fucking absolutely done that yeah. is <laughs> the that's rest a, is history that's, that's a great that's, day my that's man. first that's date then I knocked her up in, in <laughs> Casablanca Morocco hey yeah. there you go yeah. <laughs> the stars aligned in Casablanca and then we got married <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Sealed I the made deal three records me. in between that time <laughs> Dude, that's right. hell yes dude Shout out oh, to your wife, man. That's Shout out to Aaron. Epic. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah. It's rad. She's she's yeah. excited oh, to leave, too. Dude, she, oh, she's a California girl, but she... Where's she, she from originally? Santa Barbara. Okay. Oh. She never wanted to... She, she never thought of, of leaving LA, but man, you know, we have an epidemic here. We have a real problem, mm-hmm. yeah. and it's called taxes. It's called... <laughs> um, <laughs> Homeless uh, it, 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 right now. That, yeah. But, you know, it, there's a real disobedience happening within the government, and... Yeah. yeah. You know, like, listen... You guys start making some money, and your 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 thought processes change. They, they just change a little yeah. bit. You yeah, just yeah. start thinking like, "Do you want to pay as much tax on everything, dude?" Yeah, yeah. Like just it's, just it's standard it's, of living it's now. Like, it's, it's like a hundred pennies to a dollar. No, they want. It's well, you know, like it's money. literally a bill for being California. Yeah, I I've known There's so t- many. Yeah, yeah. I've known so many like up and coming bands they're doing like okay for themselves within their within the little group they're like we're moving to arizona i we, would yeah, yeah we have to we have to yeah, yeah. because we're doing yeah. well if it's not for california yeah yeah they're yeah. screwing us go to nevada ways. where there's no fucking tax right and then i get yeah. so many so many messages yeah. every week still yeah. to this day i've had I've, I've been getting these for for years but right. i still get them yeah which is crazy mm-hmm. but like vanilla and caramel what is what is your what is your advice? Uh, you know, I, I want to move my my band and I want to move to California. My right. advice is no. Don't. <laughs> Don't. My Do advice it. is California like, hey, has enough fans of its own. Hey man, go find go find a barn in Kentucky yeah, yeah. and live there for a year. What's wrong with your hometown? Eight hundred and fifty dollars yeah, yeah. and only live in that barn and only play and only write twenty four hours a day. Learn to live with each other. Yeah. Learn to play. Learn to write songs. Come out of that barn in in a year year after spending twelve hundred dollars total on right. rent yeah. <laughs> and then go play yeah 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 and then la will come to you la should <laughs> LA always come, come to you, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah people should yeah, yeah. not be coming to los angeles yeah, yeah, yeah. any longer in, yeah, yeah. In, in search of um building anything because the uh, the, the rents the taxes everything's too Dude, high we, yeah. we came out here in 2005 and when are you guys even leaving <laughs> uh, I don't we, know. We're, we're, uh, I'm so sick of shoveling snow Come and raking in, yeah. leaves. <laughs> I don't want to ever do that again. <laughs> I don't want to ever rake leaves or shovel snow ever again. The weather's pretty nice. I'm from here, so like I don't the give a shit. Sunshine tax. Yeah. The sunshine tax. I pay tax. it. I pay no, it. That's it. I will. I will. Uh, 
I can't personally. How about this? I'll leave as soon as we can be on tour like 360, and then that then yeah. I don't have to. It doesn't matter, it doesn't, matter where yeah, I fucking then it doesn't live. Doesn't matter where the house. Then it shouldn't matter where you start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. guess. Mm-hmm. What what you got to do is you got to put yourself in a financial position that costs you almost nothing. Yeah. To do ev- to do, do this everything. To do 24 everything. hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once it's 24 hours a day, then th- there's 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 no you you have no. Uh, there's nothing else that you can do other than moves outside of where it is that you're yeah, doing yeah. that 24 hours a day. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you go crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's, it's a natural, a it's a natural <laughs> thing. <laughs> yes, I would, you do. I would like listen, man. It's it's why like I'm gonna be frank. It's mm-hmm. why I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah. A, it's turned into a shithole. I'm not gonna pay five thousand dollars a month to live in a place. Yeah. Plus utilities. It's plus only going plus up. Plus schools. Man. Plus all the plus and 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 walk LA's out. LA's overrated. Walk Cost out. Of living, bro. Yeah, walk out and look at all the shit and all the trash and all the all, yeah. ev- everywhere. Yeah. L- I'm from yeah. LA. I can stay with certainty. Dude, it's I told overrated. You I put my couch yeah, yeah. out and a chair out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. turned into a, and and it camp into homeless, a homeless camp. <laughs> yeah. Overnight. <laughs> Overnight. I called 311, which is what you're supposed to do. You're sure. supposed to put it out on the corner, oh. big, <laughs> bulky items. You yeah. give them your account number. They come and they pick it up. Yeah. They All might right. charge you a little bit of money. Great. Yeah. I, did, I did everything I was supposed to do. Yeah. The next day. Homeless people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're living there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Dude, since I moved here, I have hated Los Angeles <laughs> with a deep When passion. we moved yeah. to Southern California, as soon as we, as soon as we took in... It's why Los Angeles. I, yeah, it's why I live in like I live in. We HB. live in Orange I live in HB yeah. because I like <laughs> I like Orange just like having houses, just, a, just a little bit of community. LA yeah. has like stacked up housing. LA is a far away city. from each other, dude. It's just not it's doesn't make city. sense. It's, it's it's not gridlocked. It's not anything. It's, it's, it's just, not it's not it's made just, for the amount of. <laughs> it's built around cars. No, hang on. First of all, yeah. it's not it's not made for the dreamer any longer. Yeah, no, right? it used no, to no, be. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. We came Hollywood. out here because either here or New York for us when we first moved out here. Years yeah. and years and I mean, years I've, been ago. Coming out, I've been coming to LA and like on the Sunset Strip since the 80s. When was the first time you went to Nam? Oh. oh, when oh. I was 12 years old. Okay. It was in, it was in, in <laughs> Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Hot Atlanta, dude. <laughs> that was my first Nam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dude, we drove to Atlanta. Sick. That's fantastic. And I walked from the time it opened to the time it closed. <laughs> Damn, all three dude. days. Nice. My first oh, time. And I did that all yeah. the way through, oh, man, probably until I was 20. And then after that, I'm like, <laughs> just over it. I've, yeah. I've, yeah, yeah, just, I've yeah. seen one seen this since I was 12. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I reached the 10 year mark and that, I yeah. just don't go anymore. <laughs> We're already <laughs> like at that point. 10 or 11 years, I'm like, nope. Yep. It's yeah. the same thing over here. Yeah. Don't care. Yeah, yeah. Hand hammered? Give a shit. Yeah. You got to go down to the. The, the Chinatown, yeah, Chinatown, where you see like yeah, yeah. the three neck guitar with like a two mermaid bitches. Like, yeah, that's the best part. About <laughs> well, that's where that's where Tucker Dragon always PA's. was with his guitar. Yeah, oh. dude. yeah he sure was, dude. He was yeah, that sure third was. floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. Yeah, cheers, Tucker. For Tucker, this is absolutely Tucker. Uh, it's for Tucker. Uh, I still yeah. have his pedal, dude. We named one of our songs. We after named one. It. We wrote a song about him. We nice. wrote a song about him. Yeah, he, we uh, he we Craig we Lady. we did not want to. Uh, Take it. We didn't want to put the. We had a session with the maps people open, yeah. And it was, uh, it was. You'll hear it soon because it's all. We're redoing we're guitars out, after yeah. like six six months. I don't know how long it's been. Yeah, we, we got. Uh, uh, we should have done it right ago. the first time, right? <laughs> yeah. Our buddies yeah. Uh, over in maps, yeah. they were bringing in new producers, and they gave us like deals for like a hundred bucks to come in for a whole day and do a song. Yeah, so great. We, we went and just... No, you have to see oh, yeah. things like Oh, that. Yeah. they gave us the best deal Dude, ever. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. we had ended up like writing that song like the day before, the lyric. No, we've been mulling that one around a little bit. Yeah, but the I lyrics don't and remember. shit... I mean, I'm, glad, I'm glad through. you guys recorded all that stuff because I only want the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a song. I like the way you think, sir. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We get all that shit out of the way. Yeah. 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 But uh, it definitely, it's a, it's a good song still, though. It's, yeah. pro- it's a, one of our darker songs. Yeah, just, it's pretty dark. Just because of the context behind it, if you know about it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the, the pedal that I have for him, it, from him is called Nothing, and the song's yeah. called Nothing, and the yeah. lyrics are like, stare out into the nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's about to it. only find a view. It's fucking yeah. great. It's a yeah, sick. Yeah. It's I like sick. our song. Yeah, we I like, like our the songs song we do. The yeah. pedal's fucking rad, and Tucker was a fucking genius. It's gonna be the album, like, dude. It's it, gonna be the it, album, dude, genius. A, yeah, yeah. It broke the day I went to record with it. 
That's right. I mean, that sounds right. about right. <laughs> I literally plugged it in, and we. I go, this is for the nothing, dude. We're gonna record the nothing yeah, on yeah. this, and then it just didn't work. Second, second. <laughs> that would to be that. Tucker. Yeah, That's I know. Tucker. No, second to that Tucker's because like, fuck this. Don't name this. Song I plugged in my end. guitar. This is why the guitar. We have to redo guitars because I plugged in my guitar to the pedal to the spaceship pedal that I have that mm-hmm. he fucking hated. Oh yeah, didn't work, dude. It did didn't not fucking work. work. So it I had to shut go s- off. I well, that's not happened just once. <laughs> it's like I yeah. agree. That's a ghost yeah. story. We were talking about ghost Couple stories. Couple times, that's it's like, like your one dude. ghost story. Yeah, I know. It just, yeah. That it happened just the so night good. that we had Tucker's uh, m- like yeah little. Oh, I had to oh go, that's right. Thing. All that that's tech difficulty. God, your big ass too. space pedal yeah, just yeah. shit. Yeah. Shit the bed. Oh, that was during the set that he played for him though. Yep. That's what the good part was. It was when he went. When Craig oh, when went we, on, when, when I played yeah, Tucker's parts at that yeah, yeah. show, yeah, yeah. my died. pedal was not working. <laughs> when we, when we, when a we song played, about it. it was fine. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah, when yeah. our band played, it was fine. It was Tucker. He's like, so, yeah, it's, that's it not really, how I sound. Yeah. <laughs> that's not how I sound, no. boy. <laughs> really sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, he would go do like we would go do sound checks and oh. everything would be great. Yeah, and then this like they would they would go play later that night yeah. and he'd walk on stage and. Nothing worked. Just like, <laughs> like man, it just must be a wire, man. It's just <laughs> yeah, just shoddy soldering. It's like yeah. uh, it's yeah, yeah. A, I don't know. It's, it's a pedal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't God, use you, your pedal. He'd be like, oh, the fucking just boo- sell the, the, the boomerang. Don't use the them. boomerang <laughs> condenser unit. Isn't talking with the Starship <laughs> space. Exactly spaceship. what he yeah. said. Yeah, that's what he always told me. Like, he's like, dude, you see this? Fucking this thing makes a noise. Makes you not be able to see straight, and like this thing <laughs> smells like copper. I don't know yeah. what it does, but you just turn it a couple of times, and you start oscillating, dude. And I don't know, man. I saw a dragon, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> like you, what does it do for a guitar? He's yeah, like, yeah. everything. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> it's kind of uh, like listening to Joe Biden. Dude, <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> uh, I went to a whale. Do you see him? A whale. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then the Mississippi cut through, <laughs> but then there was a polyurethane stack, uh, a yeah. big, big stack. You know? I mean, come on, man. It's a big stack you know the type of stack <laughs> and then a gopher walked into the orb it's like what the fuck Dude, i love i love i love, I love little there? children you know they we used to go to the pool and the, my hair would just float in there and then they used to stroke my hair down what the fuck are you saying and it would suck back up into the cuticle it's like Dude, i'm sorry how does so, that work have you done the thing where you just go to your text box and you just oh, hit yeah, the hit random the middle, <laughs> the middle button yeah the middle bu- <laughs> that's you're, you're yeah. bidening you're Bi- Biden. 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 Yeah. The and Biden. That's, and that is the new verb for And it. we're yeah. expected to vote for that. Yeah. I'm not no, vote. no, I'm no. Not that's not going to happen. Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah. He's going to. He's going to. He's going to. Yeah, I'm going to write you in. Bi- Biden is going to. Uh, he's going to probably bring Michelle Obama in. And then he's. <laughs> hang on. And this is my theory. Okay. And then yeah, he's going to yeah. get. Then he's going to get sick. Because he's got, got early stage dementia. Oh, okay. And then Hillary Clinton stepping in. You're going to see oh, a, a, a a rematch. Uh, you're going to see a Clinton Obama Hitlery versus <laughs> Trump, Trump Tar. Two, yeah. two, yeah. The that's, Democratic that's my Party. That's your, I like it. It's and a it's, fun. One. So I just stated it. Yeah, yeah. So like, Alleged. You back up. <laughs> Alleged. And it's a, no, and no. This like, is what's happening. He's going to drive home, <laughs> hit a wall because the government <laughs> types into your computer. Hollis. We are now driving. For you, take your hands off. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> struck the wrong chord, <laughs> sir. You've That's gone fantastic. too deep. You've exposed the deep state and what the deep state planned. of Hollis. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the DNC is up to no good. Everyone knows that. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to uh, Bernie supporters. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we were talking about. Oh, we were talking about Tucker. Uh, yeah, talk about we don't have to talk about him much no, more. No, I'm going to say oh, yeah. foray to 42 King finding a slayer of a guitar oh, I oh, yeah. player I right now. I watched actually some of his Instagram I videos I don't know today. anything about this. That's cool. Do you got some cool yeah, I mean, no, just, yeah, yeah, I met him for the first time. He uh, rips. A couple weeks ago at okay. Kurt's birthday party. Okay. Yeah. Adam, I think is his name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think. Adam, Adam L or something. <laughs> <laughs> Good vibe, all right, right, dude. Yeah, no, it's like a Boston cool. guy. It's like Sam. Oh, oh, oh he's nice. like meeting a taller yeah, version yeah. of Sam. Sam. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, That's interesting. Is he as like spacey as Sam? They're, they're, <laughs> they're both Berkeley guys. So they oh. know. Oh God, yeah. Both of them know the same people. 
Yeah, they're both. They have they to know at the least. They're Berkeley guys. Yeah, they've got to yeah. be within two degrees. They're both from yeah. Boston. It's oh weird. Oh my god, that's epic. Did they know each other before? I, I was like, I met him. Yeah. I was like, God, do all you guys look alike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> all they both look at you at the same time. No. Yeah, Brad, we don't look alike. You look alike. All right, all right, calm down. It's all right. Plus, Boston. That's epic. Well, I can't wait for them to do shows. When I can't wait for anybody to do, to shows, do shows. To be honest yeah. with you, yeah, yeah, I can't wait for shows to exist. Yeah, yeah. Here for I mean, shows. It's, it's twenty. It's t- summer twenty twenty one right now. Yeah. You guys are looking at. Uh, yeah. We have a show. We're booked. halfway through. We have, yeah. we have yeah. a show booked next month. We have some in July. Yeah, in, no, in, which is like three weeks. Surprise! But it's it, in Huntington Beach. <laughs> would you believe it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, <laughs> shout out to Huntington Beach. Yeah. Shout out to Huntington Beach. Yeah. I, I think I said it on social. I said they're the only people brave and foolish enough to host a rock show it's right foolish now. Enough. But yeah, foolish enough. Patriots. Yeah. Yeah, patriots dude. indeed, but yeah. we cannot pass up the opportunity to get loud. We want to play. And get yeah. the shakes out, play. man. I'll wear a fucking mask. I'll, I don't I'll, give do, a yeah, shit, I'll wear a mask. I don't give a fuck. Mask wear, while we yeah. play, I'm good with it. I'll, yeah, t- yeah. I'll take the pop screen off of the 50 of the, yeah, yeah. in there, fuck and yeah. it'll be just as clear. Yeah. I'll wear a mask while we play. I don't give a shit. Hey, man. These masks... Oh, talk. It's not an Come issue. Come on. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Oh, it's a fucking issue for me. <gasps> Uh-oh. Talk Black helicopters. Those are the people. F- Rain's making the frogs no. gay. <laughs> uh-huh. No. Oh, oh, <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting serious now. No, we're getting I, serious. We, like, we a, like all of this. All right, so A, mm. you got the face mask on, right? Mm-hmm. This, this this mask, mm-hmm. uh-huh. which unless you're, you're, unless you have a 3M N95 that's totally sealable, mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're completely shaved, and that shit's pressed in. The fucking mask doesn't do anything. Yeah, let's I, let's just let's be honest. Hang on, but yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. then you yeah, got yeah. the yeah. then you got the dudes in the restaurants that have the the fucking the face shields, the, yeah. the, the, the the stormtrooper helmet. Yeah, the assessment. Mm-hmm. Right. The <laughs> on top of on top thing? of the on to, on top of the mask. Yeah, I can't hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like. I, I, I really can't like I can hear mm-hmm. what <laughs> but like I need to like I, yeah. I, I look at people's mouths right, right. like oh. if I'm talking to you yeah, like I'm looking yeah. at your mouth yeah. okay so this is not only causing me I a can't little fucking <laughs> 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 I, it's irritating me okay wait so so this is no one. good so you put it you put a, a face shield on top of that <laughs> yep I can't hear anything yeah, yeah. so I'm at a restaurant right just today I had lunch with my wife we went to the smokehouse which is like the famous um uh, uh, steakhouse right across the street from Warner Brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the b- we're in there. Nobody's in there. It's just me and me and Aaron. I think one other couple showed up while we were having lunch <laughs> in an empty restaurant. And the guy comes in and he's got the he's got the the face mask on. He's got the stormtrooper thing glass down, and he's like talking to me. And I'm like, man, I can't understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you write it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, 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 and I'm, I'm, I find myself talking loud. I'm like, yeah, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start using like sign language. Yeah. <laughs> what are the specials? And my, Aaron's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just order the steak. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> like he wants you to okay, order. So I yeah, want yeah. a filet mignon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want order. a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> I want a Caesar salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the rice peel off and the mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you show me I'm your like, pad? Uh, and then I'm like, Aaron, what the fuck did he say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, she's sitting there shaking her head, yes. And I'm uh-huh. like, what did he say? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so then I ordered like, you know, I ordered a Long Island iced tea. Yeah. Get and I got a done, bottle yeah. of Italian sparkling water, uh-huh. which is fine. Yeah. That was probably meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's what showed up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that motherfucker can't hear us as much as we can hear him. Wait, that's what that was your Long Island iced tea? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, there you go, motherfucker. It was a Pellegrino. It was something yeah. I've, I've never seen yeah, this yeah. bottle. Like, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, that's great. Oh, my God. I love it. So, oh, no. No. Here's, here's my theory. Yeah, yeah. If you're sick... 
Stay the fuck home. Stay the fuck home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quarantine. Lock yourselves up. Yeah. Let the healthy people go back to their fucking yeah. business. If you're yeah. immune compromised. Because I'm not afraid of any of this bullshit. I'll tell you that much. And my <laughs> immunity is strong. Mm-hmm. I take care of myself. Look at your fucking lifestyle. <laughs> don't do don't look at his list though. He takes care of himself. The quote is <laughs> it's, they're not up. mutually exclusive. It's the, the same quote, thing. The quote is the I wake thing. up I'm not I destroy myself. <laughs> I am every not night. insulting you. And I take so many vitamins in the morning. Yeah, I never hold myself back. I am Oliver, a phoenix. <laughs> Oliver thought that that was like that was a compliment. No. That was Oliver a compliment. Thought, Oliver thought, yeah, that's right. And Nick's like, yeah, yeah. that's that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he's Nick's talking to them. Yeah, and he's yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know yeah. this man. I'm different audience. Long, yeah, I'm different stuck audience. in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Here I am, yeah, yeah. not commenting. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it. no, I'm not a fan of the, the, the thing, yeah. man. Like, if you're sick, yeah. stay the fuck home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're immune compromised, well, stay the, the fuck thing, uh, home. You if you're old, stay the fuck home. You it's said just, your your gym is like like partially reopened, mm-hmm. but they're like they're checking people for temperatures and they're they like, do it at restaurants too. I don't know if, about your restaurants, yeah, but in Costa Mesa, the all they do is they have one of the thermo guns. Yeah. They just go like beep. You're not at a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Go in. So yeah, like the yeah. gym was the same thing. I went in. I had a pre workout too, and I was already fucking sweating. Yeah. I was like, uh oh. Yeah. And they're like, man, 98. And I was like, cool. And then in my gym is just a lot of sanitizing boost now. Okay. It's so like when you get done, wipe your shit down. I'm like, I already wiped my shit down before. I think that I think that the, the cleanliness is is fantastic. Yes. And I think yeah. that, you know, most motherfuckers go to the bathroom and they don't wash their hands. Yep. Yeah. And then they touch their face and they touch their everything. dicks and they're touching their the, the urinal yeah, and yeah. The, like everything. And it's yeah. disgusting. And most people are pigs. So I think that what we're learning culturally is 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 how to like wash your fucking hands yeah. don't touch your face you a I can't believe it took us this long a, but yeah, yeah. It's strange. you're not gonna yeah. you're not gonna get pimples yeah yeah right and look like you know like a yeah. teenage douchebag right and you're not gonna like get sick i think right. it's just the american savage right because let's let's Don't get one thing straight. When <laughs> SARS go, when SARS went down, when bird flu went on, yeah, all of these little scares that aren't quite the magnitude of yeah. this. Every allegedly, almost allegedly, because H one N one was the magnitude of true. this. In fact, yeah. it killed more people. And I also think they're attributing deaths to COVID when they're not attributed to. One hundred percent, because I have a these doctor two. that. Yes, I have another One hundred percent made that clear. Yes. <laughs> if you want to get, <laughs> we have I'll we have I'll help my you're doctor's fired. on his second documentary. By the way, oh. by the way, yeah. second documentary. Oh. Who is also a <laughs> very, very big. Very doctor famous yeah. doctor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so my uh. coworker's uh, cousin is just a feed your fire to help you and me out. Yeah. Uh, he died by taking too much heroin. Are you kidding? We could take these guys. I know. We totally oh, could. They, they would win. I, I could put it. Dude, we're fucking. <laughs> we're the ones <laughs> wearing the mask. Just cover take my them balls on a chest. and my eyes. <laughs> we're the ones wearing the mask. Take them on a chest. Yeah. I don't even know chest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll but for the both he, he the died both from a suicide from yes. overdose. <laughs> they attributed it to COVID. Yeah. And the, there's like, there's no way he died from COVID. He took no heroin way. and fentanyl. No, there's no way. Yeah. They're like, yeah. nope, COVID. They're like, <laughs> heroin and fentanyl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what he died from. Yeah. Fentanyl and heroin. Anyway, like, yeah, yeah. to wrap this up. But also COVID. <laughs> COVID. If you're, if you're sick, him. stay home. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and like, don't be an idiot. Don't be a fucking yourself, idiot. Yeah. But yeah. you should let people that work Don't make for, fun of people for wearing masks. No, man. Like, yeah. you know, no, like the shitty thing today. Yeah, it was like going to a restaurant, and like you know, like on a like pre-COVID. Well, first like, of all, you were able to go to a restaurant. Mm. That didn't used to be the case two months ago. Have we met? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So you go into a restaurant yeah, pre-COVID. Yeah. There's yeah. 200 people for lunch, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There might be 20. Yeah. No. Any given day. Yeah. S- it's just it's 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 not right, man. Because like the, these people, they work for they work for tips, yeah, and they're uh, not claiming unemployment. Uh, you know, the the guys yeah. that are smart and final, yeah, they're yeah. not claiming unemployment. Right, they right, can, right. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah. Delivery they're service can't claim unemployment. U-Haul can't and, claim unemployment. Hey, man, if yeah. you're unemployment, they're making more than the I guy know, that's, that's working at, their, so at the grocery store. It sucks so bad. Not a good I thing. I tried, and they went nope. So I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this. Listen, man. I'm 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 liberal. 
Yeah, you know? you're Jason fucking Hollis. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm also conservative, <laughs> yeah. and I'm also like, you know, I've fucking got a pretty high IQ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm smart. You see both sides. Yeah. Well, if you don't see both sides, then you're then the fool. You're the idiot. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 both sides are the same goddamn. Yeah. yeah, it really is. There are no all more rules. No more rules. <laughs> no more rules. <laughs> all heads of the snake can have that. lead to the same body. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's it's uh, blame it on whoever the fuck you want. I kind of wish we had a Queen Elizabeth because she just waves. Yeah. She just puts her hand out and says, "It's all good, everybody," yeah. and then you can just carry oh, on. Oh, it is all right? good. Yeah, yeah. It's way better than the shit we're having to deal with: fear mongering, yeah, panic buying, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, b- there's so many people that are going to be so financially crushed. It's okay, though, man. It's a good. This. It's a good exercise. I feel. I think so. Oh, too. it's a flex. It's a muscle flex. Because yeah, here's, yeah, yeah. here's yeah, the yeah. thing. Here's yeah, yeah. the thing, man. That shit went into lockdown. I was like. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Our lives didn't change all that much. I, I, got, pe- four, I, I, got, I got four months of shit <laughs> yeah, yeah. in this place yeah, yeah, yeah. that I can, I can deal with. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't need cash. I got gold. I yeah. got silver. Yeah. I got Bitcoin. There you go. There you I go. don't need my bank. Uh-huh. I don't need any of this shit. It I got food. Go I have <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I got bullets. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. So, so like, Check, check. Everybody's yeah, yeah. panicking on everything. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to settle into like what it, would, what yeah, it yeah. would feel like if, if yeah. you were to take a proper vacation yeah, yeah. and actually <laughs> vacate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally vacate. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the thing is, man, like, here's the thing. You live in, you live in Los Angeles, California. You're privileged and, already. You're on. privileged by living here. If, if, <laughs> you're a fucking douchebag if you live here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You yeah, know, you're privileged. Should yeah, yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's an opinion. It's uh-huh. allegedly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. Garcetti says there are nice people in LA. Garcetti says no, no, being lost. There's not a lot. There's not a lot. Not a. You know, there's 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 your friend groups that you have. There's yeah, yeah. There's working friend group. There's so many outer workings of how the friend groups work. Yeah. In Los Angeles, because it's so spread out to begin with. Your absolute very, 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 very core best friends don't live here, unless mm-hmm. they're you. Yeah, they're, you we're, grew, I'm you the minority though. Here. I'm the minority. You though. grew up here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like like mm-hmm. my wife as well. Mm-hmm. Her core, very yeah. best friends, live here. Mm-hmm. That's not even true. Santa for me Barbara. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. But we moved to Nashville. They're all going there. Sure. Or we're, we, like, yeah. it's all, we're all going to e- each other. Mm-hmm. Like how Los Angeles is built, th- your core like thing, friends yeah, yeah. don't exist within your circle of friends that you have in Los Angeles. It, they no, they, they don't, they really. don't yeah. exist. Yeah, These yeah. are different layers of yeah, walls, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what I you, can navigate LA successfully. There's you know? a social yeah. politic that right. enters at the city it's limit. Only, it's, it's literally yeah, the city yeah. limit. And yeah, it's yeah. Only, Long Beach is different. Long, yeah. Be- yeah, Long yeah. Beach is different. Long Beach, yeah. And it's only social uh, social politics, yes. right? That you're dealing yes. with, right? Yeah, 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 and it's 100%. only it's really it's really in Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've been everywhere at this I've point. Been everywhere, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's it's in it's within Los Angeles, and and, and you know, man, there's like you know that's why. You always hear, "Oh, I hope you I hope you're not one of those LA flakes." Yeah, because dude. that's like the vast majority of the 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 concept that yeah. makes up all the people that you know right. and really <laughs> all you're doing is you're so multiplying people out of your life <laughs> to get yeah. to another person that's actually going to hang out with you at that moment. Yeah, right, dude. right, right. So you're just going through a bigger gene pool of people <laughs> to get to hang out with somebody. There's a yeah. huge difference. Like five to one, dude. There's five a huge to get five to one. one. There's yeah. a reason these two people are from Detroit, by the way. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there's a massive difference in. I, mean, so like, I get it. Yeah. And see, if you guys yeah, were yeah. smart, you would yeah, have yeah. bought a fucking like a city block in Detroit for twenty five <laughs> bucks, yeah, like yeah, yeah. dude. My buddy, five years ago. Oh, just yeah, so you know, I, that that was no, kind of a bad now. thing. My buddy mm-hmm. did that, mm-hmm. and then the property mm-hmm. tax cost him like three hundred and forty grand. Really? Because everyone owed back shit, so he bought everyone's fucking debt. And then he went to the houses, and they stripped all the goddamn uh, copper out of it, all the electrical. Everything. It just yeah, man. See it. the the the, ho- the housing tax in Nashville, Tennessee is is um, one point five. <laughs> it's you know like in L.A. your your um, 
Dude, what is your 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 eight hundred thousand dollar home is going to cost you uh, twelve thousand a year in in, in property taxes. Yeah. In Nashville, it's going to cost you twenty five hundred. Holy fuck! Plus, there's no state tax. That's fucking crazy. What yeah. you're paying for is liquor and cigarettes. Wow. In a lot of those different towns, and there's yeah. no grocery tax. Fuck Holy me, man. Fuck. Let's move to Nashville, guys. No, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just there. <laughs> just yeah, kidding. you gotta go. I, you need to come out there. I've never been I, to I need to be with you. I've Listen, been, you need yeah. to come out there. <laughs> With when you. I'm hosting yeah, a party. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Fly us out. Because you love Nashville. Nashville. <laughs> I don't hate Nashville. Hey man, once you got your studio up and running. Yeah. For forty nine dollars on Southwest. Forty nine? You can fly yourself out. All right. Right right now it's in Forty nine? Yeah. I mean we could go have lunch. well one yeah, month ago and, yeah, yeah. one month ago we, we could have all gone and had lunch for three hours yeah. in Puerto Rico <laughs> and flown back and not spent a hundred bucks. That's so cool. I'm looking at Hawaii that's right awesome. now. Two awesome. people round trip for Can't like 500. Yeah. Shot oh, back really? up. In yeah. Hawaii? In February of next year. Oh, yeah. Five, six hundred bucks, two people, Hawaii. A full week. That's, that's good. cool. Six. Anyone? Yeah. Anyone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tokyo was 484. Wow. Why yep. did you go there? Fuck Hawaii. Uh, I, right? I'm go to Tokyo. I've I've never been I was just looking at, you know, I just keep I've never looking. been to Hawaii. I just I keep. I either. have not been. Listen, I think yeah. I need to go. Hawaii. Hawaii's expensive. It would be cold. And you got it. You can't buy booze anywhere on the resort that you're staying. You got to go to the grocery store and buy your own. Buy your own yep. and bring it to your room and make yourself. Tokyo, on the other hand, <laughs> cheap shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's expensive. Tokyo is way. like the experience of your lifetime. Yeah. It's like I love Tokyo, that's, man. That's what Dude, I, I was saying. I mean, I contemplated I like Aaron and I Ugh. literally contemplated. Have you ever been to we, Korea? We, uh, no. Okay. And I was supposed to go to Korea. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, Aaron and I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Did it because it was yeah. too close to North Korea. Well, <laughs> Aaron and I contemplated. <laughs> we contemplated yeah, yeah. Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Shares the as name. we're contemplating Nashville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Wait, I'll sell you on wait, Seoul over Tokyo, Nashville. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Nashville. Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah, what were the yeah. big draws of Tokyo yeah. for you? I, I love the culture. What's tax like in Tokyo? Uh, it's high. It's yeah. high, but it's all included, so you know what yeah. you're paying already. Yeah. I mean, Tokyo's smart, man. Yeah. It's smart. They're. It's expensive there. It, it is expensive. Very but expensive. Yeah. Versus it's a LA, very, it's, it's a very, very, very different lifestyle. Yeah. And I think that what we were kind of like, in, inevitably, what we were looking for was a different lifestyle. Right. Yeah. Mm. Um, than that because you know Strummer's going into uh, 8th grade so, oh, fuck. so right. then there's high school Ooh, Christ. so okay. high school it's like an international school yeah. that would be very cool but also like you want friend friends you yes. want you want friends that like yeah. not to be mm-hmm. racist that look like you that talk like you want that's racist. You want no, no 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 I'm gonna call you on your there's no yeah. there's no that's there's not some, true. no well, I what? lived in Korea fuck you uh, yeah, we no, have no, to talk uh, about this oh no. yeah go we have to talk about this yes go I went to an international school I know but fuck her you. whole no, life no, no 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 that's racist as shit and I have to call you on this I know I'm drunk and I have to call <laughs> I know you. well you can but I can also talk about what I what I mean is that she grew up her whole life being in America's culture and to take her and say through your most developing part of your life we're gonna put you into a new environment and a whole new uh, thing that's why she would want to be here. And Kids are adaptable, dude. And I'll bring it into this. Into They're this. very adaptable. I'll, yeah, bring, yeah. I'll bring it into this into this little part that you, as parents, decided at eighth grade not to give her such a culture shock because it's it's not trans- a, it's all, not only the culture shock because I, I think that we would have done. I mean, it. you still landed on Nashville. So we, yeah, I think yeah, we we we, yeah. we would have done it if it were like yeah. cultural, you know, like culture yeah. shock. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think that where we are uh, now, you have to understand there is like the Japanese culture is probably super the most polite. Yeah. Most um, <laughs> respectful. Yeah. yeah. It's too polite. It's over in, in, polite. in, in the yeah. world. Yeah, yeah. 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 They fall on their own fucking swords and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know if I believe that. But I also <laughs> believe they're probably like the most highly advanced. Mm hmm. So like that Korea is, is. A, I'm Team Korea. That's <laughs> a uh, <laughs> that's an attraction. Too close to, to North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> and I lo- I love the food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Isn't chi- uh, well you're talking about Japan, right? The o- yeah. the China is like the giant table thing. Uh, no, no, I don't yes. like I don't like China. 
I don't want to. Like, <laughs> <laughs> let's not. Let's not even. That's a different all right, culture. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're so, talking about yeah, yeah. Japan. Yeah. You were still balancing <laughs> three different countries, dude. So you were yeah. still yeah. balancing Tokyo versus Nashville, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so we were. Uh, if if the kid wasn't a major factor, if the kid, what? What? Yeah. What was? The, what were the factors? What were the what, deciding factors? What that tipped you, you off between the yeah, two? Yeah. Uh, I think the the thing was was we wanted um, Nashville's probably cheaper, right? Hmm. Probably. Hmm. It depends on what you're looking for. Well, you just told it, us taxes are way more expensive, so that's got to yeah. be way cheaper. Taxes are, yeah, taxes are r- really cheap in yeah, Nashville. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nashville's yeah. just a really good landscape for me. Okay. A, um, the music scene is it is <laughs> is really it, it, it's. <laughs> it's 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 probably the best. Right, right now, basketball. definitely. Yeah. I mean, in America, yeah, it's in, the best in, in, America. in the United yeah, yeah. States, New York America, died definitely down. the best in America. LA yeah, yeah. died down. Like, yeah, yeah. Nashville. Well, what I found too is like, spots. you know, yeah. I, I've worked, I've worked so much in in Los Angeles, and I love LA. I love. We love. Um, <laughs> we love even though we've been talking, LA, so LA we've been talking shit like, on it. This we have, episode. but yeah. shout out LA. We actually we love, love you. There's we don't mean anything we say. Three yeah. of the four of us in this room made it a point to come here because I'm from here. I have to love it. So great. I have a California tattoo. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, I we can lo- talk shit on anything. I yeah, yeah. love Los Angeles. Like, yeah. yeah, I have, I have really nothing. Like, I, I've spent the be- like the, the better half of my life. Sure. In California, twenty years. Yeah, I love. Wait, it. how old is Drummer now? Uh, uh, Fourteen. Great. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. okay. 14, 14 in August. How is she feeling about the move? She's iffy because yeah. she's making friends, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is yeah. it's notable, but yeah, yeah. it's it's fine because she's also young and she's going to go there and she's going to make friends. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And especially with the people that I know there. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. 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 So the only reason I'm not I'm, worried I about I still that. feel bad about calling Nick racist, by the way, because I, oh, I don't so much. I don't feel bad. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. no. Wait. The only reason I said that is because she would have still found friends in Japan. I absolutely yeah. agree. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I should have wore. Gotcha. I should have worded it yeah, yeah. more yeah, of yeah. towards yeah, yeah. culture yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and what she grew up knowing. Yeah, yeah. You Oliver, guys are just being too political. Just no, just say fuck off. I love this man. Even if he is a racist, Oliver. Oliver, don't apologize because I'm going to go at least two pages, pages back and there's going to be a word racist this somewhere good. on this yeah, page. Yeah, yeah. We hit it so many. Every yeah, time yeah. we talk, yeah, yeah. something racist is said. It's what's hot. It's what's it's, hot right it's now. It's always hot. <laughs> it's never and, hot. And, and these are, big, these are lo- base, those base balls. <laughs> those these are, are base I thought balls. that was a uterus. <laughs> yeah, there's a I just feel bad for yelling at my friend. That's all. No, relax. It's fine. It's the tequila talk. Whatever. Oh, by the way, this episode. We haven't even talked about what we're drinking This episode. It's brought to us by George uh, Clooney. George it's Clooney. By George That's Clooney. right. It's yeah. Casamigos. And Randy Gerber. And <laughs> yeah, there Randy you go. Gerber. All it's right. the Anejo uh, Casamigos tequila. It and you said tequila night. I'm yeah, glad we went to tequila night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cheers to that. Uh-huh. Dude, this is a great. I met George Clooney tequila. and Randy Gerber during uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, house. <laughs> when, <laughs> I'm just kidding. When I was with my buddy, the first um, time, the first time I met. <laughs> the only time. Yeah. It's my buddy Brian Bowen Smith. He was a BBS, f- dude. photographer, mm. and like w- we were buddies, and yeah. like I just didn't know like that he was like literally blowing up right. to be like he studied under Herb Ritz. You know Herb Ritz? Hmm. Who's no? that? Never heard of Herb Ritz? Nope. Uh, Fuck. This is photography. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck am I? <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> but this is photography, art, photography. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So my buddy Brian said we have under a Herb Nikon Ritz. over there that's really nice. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's a no. no it's over there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Herbert, Herbert, George Clooney. So yeah, Brian Bowen Smith was having his first big B- art yes. art showing, mm-hmm. and everybody was there. I was like, mm-hmm. fucking everyone, every yeah. everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. LA because was he was there. like, yeah. he's at, at this point, he is the uh, celebrity photographer. Okay. And so I'm with I'm with Brian and his wife and my wife and. George Clooney walks up and they're all talking. And then Randy Gerber comes in with Cindy Crawford and they own Casamigos at uh-huh, that point. Right. And then we're all, we're all sitting there like huddled up, like talking. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what the fuck am, <laughs> what I, am I doing? doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Where I found myself I? in that position quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something like <laughs> me. That what's happening? Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, George, c- cool photos, right? <laughs> Cool stuff. Yeah, how do you like the art? Cool stuff on the wall. <laughs> nah, because I don't need, like I don't even talk like I, I like 
You're just standing next to him, basically. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I like I interact totally, yeah, yeah. but like yeah. I never. I, I've been around celebrities so much. Yeah. Sure, now, sure, sure. At this point, L.A. L.A. Small talk shit. Be, yeah, you yeah. just don't do that. It's yeah. just, it's just you know, you just start talking about yeah. like something. Chuck Berry yeah. with a hooker at 16. I yes. think you're good for George Clooney. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you're. All, yeah. yeah, I think you're, I think you're fine. Yeah, like, you're, you're you've like, been yeah. prepped for this. All right, so, you're so cool. you've been prepped. Yeah, good yeah. segue into the Viper Room. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. The, I, the viewers don't know I mean, about this one. I mean, I died in the Viper Room. I mean, <laughs> I died in the <laughs> one uh, one day we played down in San Diego and we we're driving back up and uh, Saint Ain't So came on by, uh, by Weezer and yeah. we changed. Every All, word. Every word. And the to, solo. to I died in, in the Viper the Room. <laughs> we literally sang the whole, the whole song. song. And yeah. the Hysterically solo. laughing <laughs> while driving like, I don't know, 85 or something. We might have smoked a little yeah. bit. Part of the, and it was after, part of the you, band to, language, it was after you, you told us about your story. Uh, That's the whole reason yeah, yeah, why we I brought it up. About the we were story talking about, about your tell. story. We're and talking then about this the story. The song came on and I was like, I died in the Viper Room. I died in the Viper Room. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Jason did not die it, in yes. the Viper He's actually room. Here. He's he is here, here today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please. Spoiler alert. Story. Right, Proud and happy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's a place that was down for some activity. Okay, so when I yeah, moved yeah. to Los Angeles <laughs> uh-huh. from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, <laughs> the day I graduated high school, yeah, I moved episode. to my <laughs> I moved to my place. Yeah. Um, a plus. Larrabee and and Sunset, right? Yeah. I'd already had it. I didn't know that like I was moving into the greatest apartment building Ever. of all time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know like Angeline, the the famous like oh, have yes. you ever yeah, seen yeah. like the, yeah, yeah. the big billboards? Sure, sure, sure. Like yeah, yeah. the the pink mm-hmm. haired Yeah, yeah, I know who that is. Yeah, I yeah. live next door to her. What the fuck? So She's like nine hundred years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she was back then. Google Angeline. If Looking you don't know at least seven hundred, yeah. at least yeah. seven hundred years old. Yeah. So she was my neighbor. That's amazing. Uh, Christina Applegate lived above me. Hell yes. And so it was like this whole like I lived in this. You lived, you lived in Boner Town, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like fresh off the boat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fresh Boner. I'm coming in fresh from Baton Rouge, Rouge, Louisiana. Fresh hot. I'm like, yeah. You still go. have the draw. Still have the <laughs> You're at half mast 24 yeah. 7. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so like I'm working at Guitar Center in, yeah. in Sherman Oaks. It's my first gig. Yeah. And I got that from the Guitar Center guys, and I feel good. I'm driving over Mulholland every day in my, in, in my yeah. Isuzu trooper oh, the top yeah. down oh hell yeah Isuzu. going yeah going down <laughs> beverly Glen into like into, into ventura you know boulevard oh. into the sherman oak store and selling drums all day and all that shit yeah um so anyway <laughs> i got to the point where like there, there, my place was literally my balcony i would flick beer bottles <laughs> or beer uh, uh caps caps, caps. yeah yeah Onto the roof of Tower Records. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. When Tower Records was still oh, Tower yeah. Records, right? Yeah. When it still existed. R. It R. was yeah. one floor, right? Yeah. The day. Yeah. 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 The muse. It was like almost like House of Blues or something. And so, like, shit. every right. night, every night I would walk down to the Sunset Strip, yeah. even though I was like, I couldn't get into clubs because I was 18 years old. <laughs> and I walked down to the Sunset Strip, okay. I hang out on the Sunset Strip. And I already had like I already had one tattoo. I had my my animal from the Muppets. I had okay. my animal yes. tattoo. Okay. And so is that I, you on drums? What is that you on drums? What signifies the That's animal what? tattoo? That was the first right. one. It's, yeah, it's just like animal. I mean, yeah. it's like anybody that plays drums, like that animal. was in that yeah. was you their, casually their mentioned. This is my first tattoo. I have to ask. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I played hard and loud. That's Fuck it. Because yeah. the animal. Keith Moon is the reason I played. Keith Moon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I would like I would I would I would walk down walk down Larrabee, take a right, and I'd be right there on Sunset Strip. There's yeah. the Whiskey A Go Go, there's the Roxy. All of it. Everything's right there and I could never get into any of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd walk by every night and go by Tattoo Mania. Okay. Which is like this very famous tattoo shop that's still there right now. Okay. And so one night I I was like I was like drinking like Zimas up in my apartment <laughs> that I packed from from Baton Rouge and brought with me. Fuck yeah! Shout out Zima balls. Yeah, Shout out Zima. And so I'm like, up, I'm, I'm just like yeah. getting hammered on Zimas, <laughs> and I walk down. I go to the tattoo shop and I'm looking around. They're like, you need help? I'm like, yeah, I want that one right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're like, all right, cool. Yeah. 
It's like, give me to a tattoo guy. <laughs> yeah. It's like these two music notes with like a banner. Mm hmm. Just stupid. It's like Brent <laughs> yeah. Michaels, Brent yeah. Michaels shit, man. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where's your headband, Hollis? <laughs> no, just like, <laughs> just like every cowboy. <laughs> so has two notes. I go, and with, I go into the go into the tattoo artist, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I get the tattoo and everything. And anyway, we we hang out. Like I yeah. gave him this really great tip because I was working at Guitar Center. Uh -huh. I had money because yeah. yeah. I was selling a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah. great tip. He remembered my name. So the next night I walked down, I was going to Sunset Strip to like walk around and hang out. And he was like, hey, hey, uh, MJH. Because that's the fucking shit I got in the banner was my initials. Because he's like, what do you want in the banner? It's like, yeah. I don't know. My initials. What are your initials? MJH. All right. <laughs> Oh hey God. MJH, come yeah. come hang out with now us. Now you have long sleeves on right now, or yeah. else I would say we gotta see it. Yeah. Now we're uh, just but it's not yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna find a picture. Yeah, yeah. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt. Okay. Right. Well, I'll take it off later. When we're yeah, in yeah. Nashville yeah. at your house poolside, we will no, I'll see. I'll take my it. shirt off tonight and I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So I get to know like this tattoo guy, right? And then like one night I get this phone call. And he's like, hey, uh, MJH. Like, yeah. yeah. That's like, me. Hey, That's you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> never Dan your Paolucci fucking... from Tattoo Mania. Yeah. Hey, uh, our floor guy just overdosed on heroin. Oh. And uh, we need a new floor guy down here. You want to come work for us? Oh. Whoa. And I was like, I, was like, I don't know. I, I, I work at Guitar Center right now. Like, yeah. Uh, how, how would that work? He was like, well, what are your hours? Uh -huh. Told him my hours. Like, I work, yeah. you know, the mornings. He's yeah. like, just come work every night. No uh, shit. Wow. I was like, all right. <laughs> so I went down to Tattoo Mania the next night and I started working there. Right. And I was their floor guy. <laughs> Which means you basically change the paper towels. Yeah. Yeah. Change the toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. You mop the floor. Mm -hmm. You clean the stations after yeah. the tattoo guys tattoo. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you <coughs> seal everything down so it looks sterile. Right. right. And then you sterilize all the... <laughs> Keyword so look... Allegedly yeah, so looks... looks sterile. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, then... Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, allegedly... Now it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Allegedly, yeah. now it's sterile. But yeah. then it was... You, know, you, you would like... You bake everything. You do all this stuff. And right. <laughs> so... I started. I became the floor guy at night. Yeah. Well, then the guys liked me, and they were paying me so much money at night that I was like, I can kind of <laughs> quit my fucking job. Sweet. I can just yeah. try and maybe play music and like wake yeah. up in the mornings and do like music and shit, mm -hmm. and still make enough money to pay for all my shit. Yeah, yeah. So. I went into Guitar Center, <laughs> Sherman Oaks, <laughs> and I had a tattoo guy in my Zuzu Trooper with me <laughs> who went with me because I tried to quit the day yeah. before and they uh. wouldn't let me quit. They were like, no, man, you're not quitting. What? No, no man, you're not quitting. You're one of our highest, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Grossing you're, salesman. You're, right, not, yeah. you're not quitting. You're yeah, crushing yeah. it here. Go How down there. Like, Come on, we'll, yeah, go to work. Yeah. We'll call you in here. Yeah, yeah. And so the next day I came with like this long, like <laughs> gnarly tattooed biker guy. Mr. Uh, Hell's Angel yeah. himself. <laughs> Mr. Tattoo Mania. <laughs> yeah. Dan Paolucci. Oh. Shout out Dan Paolucci. Shout out Dan Paolucci. I went into the thing and I was like, this is my last day. I need my money. <laughs> Cut yeah. me a check. Yeah. Bye. They're like, well, what are you doing? And I was like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, well, you know, just why don't you just go back? I was like, I've got a very large tattoo guy in my Zuzu Trooper right now. <laughs> he expects me to create that the he's coming board. in in five minutes if I don't get my check and get the fuck out of here. So I need my check. And they're like, uh, Florence, uh, can you print Jason Hollis a uh, final check? Yeah. And uh, I need it now. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I got my check and I left. He was still in there. So anyway, I worked at the tattoo shop. <laughs> <laughs> Never. And one night, back. one night, this uh, you know, uh, this car pulls up and these guys come in and it's like this very famous tattoo guy named Jonathan Shaw. Okay. He ran a, a, a tattoo magazine um, 
Uh, tattoo Inc. Okay. Well, just a reminder for context, this tattoo shop is right in the heart Sunset Strip. of... Yeah. It's, a cat, it's across <laughs> the street from the Viper Room. If you're yeah, in yeah, we're still talking <laughs> about the Viper Room, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah. If you're, we're talking about the Viper Room. If you're in town from... Seattle, yeah. Miami, New York, Nashville, Detroit, Chicago, Tokyo, right. yeah. Shanghai. You're coming to play one of those venues, and you you may be getting a tattoo. Yeah. That's probably the place you might you're see doing that it. place. Yeah, it's yep. probably where they're getting. That's tattoo. most yeah. likely where you're it's at. very famous. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I worked there for 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 a few years, and one night I'm there. At this point, I'm full time. Okay. And a car pulls up, and this Jonathan Shaw comes out. And I'd recognize him because I'd seen him in um, in the tattoo magazines. What is this? Yeah, kill it on him. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Ooh, we did it. We Thanks, did guys. it. We got through that the bottle. That was the whole bottle? That, that was, was the, the whole, whole bottle. bottle. Since I got here? Since you I mean, got here. Wow. That's, yeah. Uh, we have a little we bit of We have a little bit of wait, scotch. Wait. I'm a professional. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We have a little bit of scotch. If we w- if there's if there's more after. Oh, I'm just I'd saying. I'm, just saying. I'm still nursing a seltzer right oh, now. Oh, we got so a seltzer. Yeah, I'm not okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Yep. So. I'm going to try and wrap this up really. No, good. no. no we're still car- talking about the Viper Room. We're, a yeah, car yeah. pulls up. A car pulls up. To your tattoo parlor. So Jonathan Shaw comes out. I recognize him because he's in all the tattoo magazines. He's an editor of Tattoo Inc. Yeah. He comes in with this dude, and the guy, they go in the back because that's where they do all the hard drugs in the back. <laughs> Sweet, <yeah>. Allegedly. <laughs> and I'm hanging out, and I'm sitting there talking to this, like, you know, just sitting there with this guy. Yeah. And like a total cunt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I look at him, and I'm like, hey, man, um, I was just watching this. VHS the other night of this movie called Edward Scissorhands. You ever seen that? Mm-hmm. He's like, oh yeah, man, yeah, it's a good movie. It's like, yeah, it's it's cool. I've been watching it like every night. It's really, really a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have this small. It's fucking yeah, yeah. Johnny Depp. I'm yeah, talking. Yeah. To. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking to Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the next day, the next day, I, I didn't know that. And <laughs> like, hey, obviously not. Yeah. The next day, like Johnny comes into the shop because Jonathan Shaw's there tattooing. Okay. And Johnny's Johnny's looking at the space across the street, which would be become the Viper Room, right? Okay. And so he comes in the shop. He's like, "Hey, man, what's what's going on?" I'm like, "Oh, hey." Hey, did you see that movie yet? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe I he d- hadn't. He might. I not still like yeah. never. Like I never put two and two together. <laughs> and, like it shit. never. Like in our whole relationship that he and I had. Yeah. It, it was never even discussed. Sure, sure. He forgave you right away. I'm sure. Yeah. I don't think that I realized that until probably like after I actually left LA. <laughs> like That's seriously. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And so. It, we became buddies yeah and it, it, it was just like a brotherly kind of thing mm-hmm. like within this tattoo thing because yeah. you know th- this was within this club that you're in now it's like it's motorcycle gangs yep. and yeah it's you know you're rock and roll tattoo and people and, yep. i mean yep. i held yeah, yeah. i held um uh, mary j blige's hand when she got her first <laughs> tattoo Aww. cute <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Mary J. Blige is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And she was one what of the guys. Get? What did she get? She was one, you one of the guys from Jodeci. Do you remember her first tattoo? Do you I think it was a, uh, I think it was like a, the the bull from uh, like the. Like a Brahma bull? Like a Toro? Like no, a, no, no. Like that uh, malt liquor. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. no. Uh, oh, there's, oh, no. Now I'm, uh, I'm just rolling through. It's not Colt 45? It's not, no. It's no. not. Oldie, Oldie has a shield. It's not Oldie. It's not. Uh, it, was a, it was a malt liquor logo. It was something. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 Now, yeah. either it was her Fucking or it was white the, people. We can't. It was the dude from uh, Jodeci that was getting that okay. particular thing. Because uh-huh. I know. Because I cut the I cut the you stencil. You cut the stencil? <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> um, and so Johnny Depp and I became buddies. Right. And so like when he opened the Viper Room, I got a VIP all access pass. Sweet. Now I'm n- 19 mm-hmm. at this point. <laughs> Just yeah. 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, Viper Room is like hard 21. Yeah, of course. It's a bar. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're, yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, like, 
before the thing even opened, I knew the the bouncer big head. So like where everybody lined up to go, like you know yeah. when you go on Larrabee to go in that side door, yeah, yeah. I would go across to the back door where you, yeah. you exit from. Yeah, that's where I would enter. Yeah. <laughs> this is so great. Yeah, yeah. Go down the stairs. Then yeah, up right the stairs. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I just went to the side door and I knocked oh. on the door and uh-huh. they opened the door. Got oh, look hey, at man. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, walk me in. So opening night uh, was pretty epic because. Um, I, I saw a lot of people there. Sure. But the headlining act was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Oh, fuck yeah. And it's really cool when Tom Petty's playing on that little tiny of stage course. with yep. the Heartbreakers. Fuck yeah. Fucking course. And Michael Jackson and Elizabeth Taylor walk in together. <laughs> yeah. And I'm then you're just like going yeah. like, uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. I love Tom Petty. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tom, we're here for you. Tom, we love you, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Dude, then, Mike Campbell was like, can you give me some fucking space? Yeah. And Tom's like, I'm right here. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so once the Viper Room decided that they were going to open the club for happy hour, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> I went in there one day <laughs> happy hour. and I started drinking um, like Moscow Mules. Yeah. Or, no, no, no. Um, what's the thing? The White Russian. Uh, oh, the Lebowski drink. The okay. White yeah. Russians, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so it's around that time period. The yeah, next yeah. day, yeah, the yeah. next day I went in there. Impressive that you remember to correct yourself. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to get that wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't, gotta remember what you're drinking. <laughs> I went in there one day and I ordered a white Russian. Uh huh. And I was solo. Okay. And I sat there and I was like, one social distance person over <laughs> from Shane McGowan. Now I had no idea who Shane McGowan was. I, the lead singer of the Pogues. Okay. I know who you the know Pogues the Pogues are. are. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. You, you mean to Shane McGowan? <laughs> yeah. Shane McGowan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shane's here, and he's drinking a pint glass of uh-huh. water, okay. right? yeah. which is vodka. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Woo! And he's just, uh. yeah. And so you guys, two of these things, and I have no idea who this person is. Sure. But at this point, I'm listening to the Pogues all the time. Okay. Yeah. All the time. And, you know, his, his face has changed quite a bit over the years. Mm-hmm. But at one point, he gets up and he walks over to a piano on the stage and he starts playing songs. Yeah. And there's me and the bartender and a bar back <laughs> yeah, and yeah. maybe one other person right. in this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like that's four-ish. Awesome. <laughs> and yeah, I, yeah. Saw, I, I Happy hour, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it was probably... Yeah. Yeah. Three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three. And yeah. I start to I start to go like, holy shit! That, that's the band I'm like listening yeah. to in the tattoo pl- uh-huh. like, shop right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like, awesome. Holy shit! Yeah. So I go yeah. next door. Yeah. Guys come over. They lock the shop up. Everybody comes over. Right. Hell yeah. Shane McGowan. Yeah. Um. So then, another night, I'm there, and Johnny Depp's band's playing. Okay. I think they were called P. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. I like, believe you. Like urine or like the letter? <laughs> like the letter. Okay. P. All right. Okay. Well, that's still not appetizing to say as <laughs> and a it band was, name. It was yeah. Johnny Depp. It was Gibby Clark from the Butthole oh, Surfers. Yeah. It was Flea okay. from Red Hot oh, Pil- Chili Peppers mm-hmm. and Chad Smith. Mm. Okay. And they were playing. Yeah. And I was, I, 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 I knew they were playing. So I came in. Um, I, every, all my tattoo guys were set up, so I ran across the street. Yeah, yeah. I came <laughs> in, and I'm like, walk in through that side door, and I'm butted up against the stage, and I'm like, just sitting there looking, watching, and then I got hit from the back, and as a dude's running out of that side door, and that's River Phoenix. Whoa! And that's the night River Phoenix died. Yeah, and he, I died. And he walks out in the vibe room. <laughs> he walks out, and then I notice like it's Christina Applegate ah. out there. Okay, I noticed somebody else because she she's your neighbor. She, she lived in my building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a two-minute walk or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so like I'm out there. The door is open. Big Ed's got that door open. He's like he's watching everything. And they go over and they're making that infamous nine one one call. Okay. And he's like. You know, like fluctuating, dying. Yeah, 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 literally dying. And I'm listening. Is this, to this still happy? I'm hour? listening to this band. No, 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 this is another night. Okay, I'm listening yeah. to this band play, playing while I'm like my head's like this, watching. <laughs> oh God, this thing. Yeah, yeah. So I was here the night River Phoenix died. 
Oh. At the Viper Room, which made it infamous. <laughs> yes. I didn't know Johnny Depp owned it. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I was there that. Yeah. that night later. I stayed that night when they found out that it was River Phoenix. I'd already gone home and I came back. Like what happened earlier today? I was here. Well, yeah. Well, it was, it was still like, it was in like that, you know, it was like he died at like 11 o'clock or yeah. like something like that. Yeah. Like, Shit went crazy. Yeah. I went upstairs to my house. I came back down like two o'clock mm-hmm. and they were like, I, I was entered in and you know, it's like the very few elite people that were in that room. The and protocol I, with I the VIP. I found out that yeah. night. I was like, Oh fuck. It's real. It's real. I went home. Yeah. I called my mom. I was like, yeah. you're going to, you're going to hear this on the news. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> you might even see me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am the news mom. <laughs> but after wait. that, man, yeah. like, I saw so many. People. I saw Billy Idol there. Um, so when the Gallagher brothers decided that they were gonna, when they when they came to L.A., they had a big show, and they said we're either gonna we're either gonna like play our big show or we're gonna make a big impact. Mm-hmm. And by big impact, they had called Johnny Depp because he was a friend and talked to him about playing a, a show the night before they played their first show in Los Angeles. And so they wanted to do a, do, do a like a, a secret, secret show, show. Yeah. with Oasis at the Viper Room <laughs> the night before they were doing their like great with big Oasis gig. great. And so Johnny basically says to Liam and Noel, mm-hmm. "Do you want me to like leak this? Or like, <laughs> like you want there to be a yeah? yeah. Do you a, want people a, to come a to this? mob yeah. of people? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you want nobody to know about this? Yeah. And they're like." We want everybody to know. Yeah. 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 It's the night yeah. before they're playing yeah, yeah. their first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so, like, it was a f- fucking riot mm-hmm. of people. Yeah. And I was just right there. Hell like, the yes. First, the first L.A. Oasis gig. That's oh, fantastic. Yeah. Just getting hit. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. In Can't the breathe. brain. Yeah. In the brain. Oh, my God. In the brain. <laughs> In the cerebral cortex yeah. with Not Oasis. Fire. That's oh, so cool. Oh, my God. That's fucking rad. Epic, no. man. Yeah. That is epic. Dude, it's it's so shit. epic. It's Oasis, too. I fucking love Oasis. Oasis is great. Yeah. I don't know if there's any other way to underline your love of rock and roll. It's so... It's obvious. It's fucking obvious. It's yeah. so <laughs> hardcore in like a non-hardcore, right? Like rock and roll. Uh, Well, 16 watching Chuck Berry do his thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it kind of goes <laughs> back and dates and, itself. I and guess. No, yeah. but then... No, the then, first time I met... Ray Charles. The first time. <laughs> no, but I don't know if we'll talk to anyone it's who's insane. had those shared experiences. It's there insane. Is, there is not uh, two people that have been at both of those shows. Mm. That's true. I just That's sat and watched a Jason Howell's Netflix documentary. <laughs> 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 it was <awful. laughs> That's pretty true. Oh, I still re- highly, In my mind. I highly recommend uh, Clive Davis documentary. <laughs> I think oh, it, fair enough. Clive Davis doc. I think it's on. It's on Hulu or Netflix. One of them. If, yeah, Clive yeah, is the kind of guy that, that that's the person that Clive, like, I dude. try and model myself after. I would. I believe it. Yeah, he's the shit. Yeah. Clive, Rick yeah. Rubin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, those are the guys that I I absolutely love. Sure. Um, I met Artigan. He's probably like the biggest influence in my life. Who's okay. that? Who? What is? What is? Atlantic it? Records. Oh, mm-hmm. in general. I met. Discovered Ray Charles, Aretha oh, yeah, Franklin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he created yeah. Atlantic Records. Okay. Wow. Like Ahmed nice. Artigan is like he is he is the definition of, of what I would consider to be an actual what a record producer really is. Uh huh. And that's somebody that looks after all of it. Mm-hmm. They yeah. look after the product. Um and they're not looking at like the the sales. They're looking yeah. at like the authenticity the of the art. The art. The art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the reason we have so much synergy is that music is about music and not about and about anything else. Yeah, anything. That's why else. we managed to do three Lit- singles with you. Literally, man. We still want to work with you. Literally, yeah. anything else. Yeah. Music is music for music's sake, and if yeah. it doesn't move you, then it's almost. No, but it should it should also be fast it. too. By the time it like even really gets to me, songs. it should really yeah. just be uh, ready to go. Yeah, and like it's you know, trying to like tr- really trying to capture what it is that we've already discussed and talked about, you know, from a bunch of guys that can really play their instruments. Yeah, and to be honest with you, that's that's the one, you know, one of the one of the very big reasons I've wanted to 
to to go back to Nashville for for quite a while mm -hmm. is because I love working uh, with guys that play live. Yeah. They can play um, their fucking players. Instance. I don't yeah. want to walk yeah, in. Yeah. I don't want to walk into a session yeah. and be sitting in a room with two or three guys that yeah. are programming. Yeah, yeah. That's fine for yeah. for for, what what for a yeah. very Context, high paying gig. Yeah, yeah. Right. But that's not my kind of gig. Yeah. Yeah. I want to walk in. I want to. I want to. I want to be around dudes that know how to play their thing. Yeah. That we're going to be able to move and bend energy, based yeah. on a moment in time, mm -hmm. and whatever happens within that moment of time and whatever we capture is going to end up being a take. Yeah. That's it. I really like that approach to recording because uh, so many reasons. Uh, but we already talked about photography. That is a medium, in and of itself, a uh, capture of the moment. Right. It's the energy. It's it's every it's every slight detail. Gene, shout out Gene. Shout out Gene. Yeah. He's Gene. he's one of those that he was taking photos. He's like he's like yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm just I'm about capturing that split second. Yeah. Right. And a song, an emotion, a chemistry, a movement, and an attitude is is what the live recording is about. So I think the yeah. huge synergy between us uh, as a yeah. live band and you as a as a producer, music fan, like someone who. Let's get to a studio and make some fucking magic happen. And yeah. magic is exactly the word because it's right. a combination of all these. It's that day and that day alone. It's completely yeah. unattainable, yeah. uncontrollable circumstances that you yeah. just focus and, yeah. and put it down because it's meant to be. Because as musicians, as people that love the, the joy of that yeah. and how it translates, it's capturing what the song is how it feels, and how it's meant to make you feel when you listen to it. And the song could be the song, but it doesn't sound the same acoustic as it does in that room yeah. with that band, with that performance. Yeah. That one time. Yeah. Dude, uh, Beatles' yeah. White Album has like so many alternate takes, oh, B-side, right? All the Beatles them, yeah. stuff, yeah. like uh, Let It Be Naked, a yeah. totally different album than, yeah, yeah. than Let It Be Standard. Yeah, Why? Yeah. Because it's yeah. the little other things that they cut. It's the little other emotions and, and timing that they were able to... There's a reason our band name is Film Speed, Yay! guys. Yeah, yeah. Full circle. Remember how we're a band? Yeah, we're a band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love yeah. recording live, too, because it just feels like you're, just, feels you're on a ship. And you're you're in the port, and then as soon as you start recording, you're just out there. Dude. Listen, There's man, fog, you, and you're just like, if you really, if, if really, <laughs> if, if you can't, if you can't do it live, why quit? Are then it? why are you doing it? Yeah, why are you fucking doing it? Yeah, <laughs> EDM. That's I just, why. I, I, I don't, I don't care at that point. Yeah, yeah. I'm the yeah. same. Boat. And the whole thing yeah, yeah. is like, you know, you, you got to have the, the the proper pre-production, sure, and preparation. Really, yeah. just kind of like working everything out. To the point where when you walk into the studio, you already know five different variations of the way that yeah. you can go. Yeah, yeah. Depending on the moment and how you're, it's going to be called to you. Yeah, yeah. And what you should do at that point as a musician is allow yourself the availability to be free and just be a musician and allow somebody with your best interest on the other side of the glass we trust you very to much to then Jason. yell yeah yeah, yeah. Um, you have yelled at me so many fucking times i'm going to miss you <laughs> yelling at me Jason. <laughs> hey man i'm not going anywhere yeah yeah <laughs> i'm just getting a bigger yeah, yeah. house all right <laughs> <laughs> then i look forward to the next time you get to yell at me <laughs> nothing is changing yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, i'm yeah. not going to not work here yeah 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 uh, but I mean, I, I really do think that that's yeah. what it is. It's like as as musicians, you guys, you know, there's too much going on at this point, and this can like now take us all the way back to when we started. Yeah, this conversation it slows us down. Is there's yeah. too much going on with social media and editing yeah. and everything that is pulling you out of a creative space that's allowing you to create something that's going to be timeless and takes time to make. And I, I fully believe that, you know, sometimes you just got to be like, man, fuck, fuck the, the people that are looking at me mm -hmm. and fuck the following. I don't care. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to, you know, this is a moment in time where I've got to take time out in order to, to hit reset, to, clear my mind to write something that I feel is meaningful or w whatever it may yeah. be. Take your fucking ego out of it. You know? Uh, yeah. Well, the ego has to be removed and yeah. that's the hardest thing. And yeah, I think yeah. that's the greatest thing about meditation I is, believe is it, you yeah. learn to start yeah. removing your, yeah. 
Your ego. Now yeah. your ego can build up. Like mine is massive. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you meditate. Rightfully so. That's Rightfully why you meditate. So, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But also like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, justifiably large ego. You need it. Oh, it, it a, exists. You have to acknowledge it. No, it you exists. need ego, yeah. and you need a powerful. I one. I don't even think that it's ego. It's like I just know my shit to yeah. the <laughs> point where yeah, I'm yeah. willing to call everybody else out on theirs yeah, because. Yeah. If you're you can talking, call me on if mine. you're talking music, you're secure in, enough in to be called me, on yours. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about it. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do it in a way that's like I don't want you to feel bad. I don't want I don't want to. It's not emotional. Yeah, it's I want you to change the way that I'm feeling at this moment. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you can be. You can. That's not easy. Be a dickhead yeah. and force your idea on people, or you could just be confident. And I don't believe and, and that, that, that works and any betrayed. longer because I've I've done that, yeah. and I, I've done that through a whole a whole album cycle. Yeah, sure. And it just it, it really doesn't work. Yeah, when yeah. you force your idea all the way up through an album cycle on a major label, even uh-huh. if, so the not, band. if the band's yeah, not if the band's not in it, band. yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, the band's dead. Yeah, where's yeah, the yeah. energy? Mm-hmm. If you don't, if your band's not happy and you're just forcing your idea, they're just gonna be like, "Sure, dude, I'll play GDC yeah, yeah. over and over again." Well, there's or a lot of people out there too that just don't want to be rock stars. Yeah. And well, do yeah. and don't do for the wrong reasons, I guess. You know, like ego. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Putting in the work. No. Yeah, yeah. And right. I'm not a guy like I will match you ego. All tick, day, tick for tack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you don't yeah. put in the work, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb down your yeah, throat gonna, like a lion. Or you're just gonna fall behind in your perspective of that person. If you yeah. sit here and tell me that you're gonna bust your ass like, like to the fucking cows come home, and then I just see you constantly sitting at home on the couch with Cheetos, watching the latest episode of The Floor Is Lava. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking <laughs> respect you as Floor much. Is I, I know that I'm seen. fucking out here Does busting. That show it. exist? That well, show sucks. That's okay. why I said it. <laughs> so it was a per- so was I a was per- about to say Oliver's <laughs> shoulders just shake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you just made me sad. <laughs> yeah, you just made me sad like, oh, are you talking about me? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I just no. I didn't know that show exists. It sounds like a show I'd watch. <laughs> no, it's a really bad please no, show. please don't let this don't exist. <laughs> I'm really yeah. sad that it exists. It's the most dumbed down version of Ninja Warrior where the, the you just there's, yeah, yeah. there's water the in the ground I, oh. there's little obstacles thought, you jump across to get to the I end. thought you were talking about the floor sorry we're gonna get nerdy for a second I thought you were talking <laughs> about the uh, floor is lava episode of community too no nope. ju- recently no, 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 no. and that's, that's a, a different good one. thing entirely that's okay good. did what meme culture turn that into a TV show because that's dangerous Possibly. we'll say that we'll get what? well if it's a it's an episode of community which has a high meme factor yeah, yeah. in modern society if there are made f- that into a show Tur- eventually the network said that's not what a bad idea it on? for what a is it on, show Sorry, Netflix. We're weird. Oh. Oh. Well, I, don't Netflix I, mean, I don't know what it is yeah. <laughs> thanks for calling Netflix <laughs> you've been green light how yeah, can yeah, I yeah. help you yeah yeah, yeah. I just want to let everybody know right now this is too stupid for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were the one who wanted to talk about shit in your pants, so you know if you can't handle yeah, you stupid. Yeah, yeah, that is a very natural thing Wait, to do. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah. have any trash TV that you watch? What what have the, you been? The only the only trash TV that I watch, okay, man. The only thing that I watch is any the, in anything Gordon Ramsay. Dish ah, it, dish okay. it. You like some D- Gordon? He's got a new thing coming. That's it. Out. Yeah, new, doesn't he have some like new travel thing? I uh, like. Uh, I, uh, he's trying to take Bourdain's place. Sorry, man. Listen, well, the, o- the only dead, the so. only thing that I've even like gone to to Netflix or Hulu mm-hmm. to look for, yeah. is when the new season of Hell's Kitchen is going to come out, <laughs> nice. and nice. and I, I never see that. So <laughs> yeah, I just let Aaron control that. Oh, what yeah. we really watch at night, late at night, is Magnum PI. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Old, the, yeah, the old, old one, yeah, yeah, the old one. Yeah, the I watch yeah, old yeah. 007. That's yeah. what I watch uh, all night. Yeah, <laughs> like Magnum PI or Tom um, Selleck, Infinite Stash or dude. Miami Vice, oh, or yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Johnson, That's good stuff. Yeah. I mean, past that, like she has a whole <laughs> list of things that she watches. Uh-huh. I go to bed. And I'm like watching, like. Um, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a big cryptocurrency guy. Okay, so yeah. I'm, I, I follow a bunch of guys within cryptocurrency. Some YouTube stuff. Yeah, I I, I watch YouTube, holes. but I'm yeah, oh, I go times. down the wormhole. Yeah. Um, also, you know, uh, I'm into gold and silver. You know, Bitcoin was surging a bit a couple years ago, and there was like a craze, right? Because it was doing a roller coaster thing. Yeah, and everyone was freaking out. Like, if you're if you're not in, you're stupid. Don't yeah. get in because it's too volatile. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was going nuts. What is your experience? Man, I've I've got a cryptocurrency credit card. 
Oh. Uh, I'm in. So, I'm in. I'm in heavy. Okay. Absolutely worth it. Like if you take your time and and make the smart moves. I. I. I, I, I mean, I, I. think that like I, I've gotten completely out of the stock market. My parents are in the stock market. Mm. I. I value the reasons they're in it. Yeah. Right. I also mm. value the reasons they're not looking at it. I've been all over the world. I, um, I know how. Um, I know how currency moves and. Mm-hmm. Um, Universal currency is probably going to be king soon. Yep, I, I'm, I'm into, I hope so. It'd I'm into fun. I'm into cryptocurrency. Yeah. I'm into gold and I'm into yeah. silver. I'm into hard assets. I've got some. I've got. I'm, I'm liquid on on cash, mm-hmm. but um, right, right. my my cash now is is if if if, if you have if you have a hundred dollars <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. And you plant that one hundred dollars. You you bury that hundred dollars like a pirate because I'm uh-huh. a fucking pirate. And I <laughs> fully believe <laughs> there's holes in my backyard. The I prove. fully believe that I'm from pirate lineage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, if you dig a hole and you put that hundred dollars in the ground, yeah. And you take a hundred dollars worth of gold and you put that in the ground too, and you dig it up ten years later. You got a hundred dollars on one side, and you got eleven hundred dollars on the other yeah. side. Yeah. So I like gold and I like silver. Okay. And um, that you know, that is spoken from like a real root area, and yeah. I have to give props to. Papa Hollis, right? Yeah, like, yeah. That's no, bat, that's a Baton Rouge, not it, in California. No, shit. That's no, not nobody a California Nobody in my family thinks, no? thinks that way. Oh, they, really? They're they're all. I um, got a hint from the stock market. No, 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 uh-huh. no. They're they're in the stock market. Yeah. Um, I've pulled all my money out of the stock market. I don't believe in the yeah. stock market anymore. I longer. fully pulled out too about a year and a half ago. But they don't do gold, silver. They don't do no. Oh, what do they do? I did sleep on Bitcoin. They're st- and one they're, of our close, stocks. One of our okay. close oh, buddies. Had but they're also yeah. so much, dude. They're also older. And Kessler's a millionaire. Baby boomers. So uh-huh. you know, they made their money that. when it, they already have it. He told yeah. me well, getting that shit so bad. Well, you know, stupid. Those those when, when you're born in the '40s, you're taught to invest. <laughs> Yeah, save, yeah, yeah, save, yeah. save, save, because you're like right? you're never you're coming out of the yeah. depression. Dude, miser, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're save, be a save, miser save. Back then. So like, you, you, your parents can come out of you know, like you you can, you can be a school teacher, yeah. and be a school teacher for forty years and come out of being a school teacher and have a million dollars in the bank, yeah. and that million dollars can can then you know you can live off of that for the rest of your life. I can't do that. I'm Gen X. I can't do that. <laughs> Anymore. You guys, you guys are super fucked. Yeah. Oh, we're <laughs> very fucked. Oh, we're very. Unless fucked, you guys yeah. are getting into like I don't believe yeah. things right now. Yeah, 401k yeah. is a joke. Yeah, that shit yeah. will not oh, be around man. anymore. People, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are still dumping their money. I got friends doing it too. And just, Listen, yeah. man, I like. I, I like think, you said, assets I think are pretty the, much what you need to do the, now. The digital dollar is um, we're it's the way of the future. We're we're yeah. we're. By 2025, we're, we're going to be fully we immersed in, in, in the digital dollar. Yeah, I mean, just just yesterday, I don't know if you guys know this, and this might be breaking news for for you. You heard and, it here and, first, and yeah. your your crowd. Yeah. But uh, yesterday, uh, CVS, uh, CVS, PayPal, Venmo, all said that. Uh, C- CVS, PayPal, Venmo, and 7-Eleven ah, have all said that they're installing uh, cryptocurrency ATMs in all of their locations starting in 2020. There will be 10,000 that go into the United States in 2020, and all of those will be selling crypto, cr- selling and trading cryptocurrency. And you can they buy in cryptocurrency. Russia. They already do that in Russia. So you literally yeah. can invest at an ATM. Yep. I've got a credit card right here. Okay. This is cryptocurrency. It's all cryptocurrency. Huh? Everything. I don't even use a bank any longer. That's such a, it's, it's like cool. Sure. Yeah. And it's, it's I want some too. Awesome metal card. So that's awesome those are always camp. camp. <laughs> Give me a seltzer then, boy. Boy! Yeah. Dude, I like Grab the, me a seltzer, the boy! The symbol that's on it's cool. It's all... Um, yeah. I... I I'm moving out of a. Uh, oh, thanks. Really? Yeah. yeah. Little thanks. scotchy scotch. I'm moving out of traditional banking. Yeah. And only into yeah. um, digital sure. digital assets. In my industry, I don't put any money in my bank, dude. And I'm getting it's rid of all my stupid. cash. Yeah, I still have cash, but I don't put any fucking money in my bank. I don't believe well, in. Well, here's here's the thing. Like, all right, so. Oh, you gave yourself some. <laughs> between you and I. Yeah. I picked up some some silver today, right? Bars of silver. Bars of silver. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. And I got it. And I'm like, 
it's fucking epic. Yeah, it feels <laughs> tangible. Yeah, because I, you know, it feels good. You deliver, literally feels you deliver, good. you deliver cash. <laughs> you get this, this. Mm. You saw Chuck Berry's briefcase. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but you know, you, you if, if 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 his briefcase was all in gold, it oh, was be, it? It would be very heavy. Oh, if yeah, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. So I got, I, you know, I got, I got these these bars of silver today. Yeah. And we're talking today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I, 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 like, I went to my guy Sebastian, and I was like, "Hey, Shout Sebastian, Maniscalco, Maniscalco." Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Sebastian Maniscalco. I was like, "I got, you know, I got more cash." He's like, "Bro, <laughs> that cash ain't doing nothing for you. Yeah, it ain't making you no money." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "That's true." He's like, "Trade that shit in, gold, silver. Mm-hmm. You're fine." Yeah. And I'm just like at that point cuz I'm already like I'm already yeah. di- I'm already like atta- like I've already like d- dis- disassociated myself with banking. Sure. Like I'm in I'm in the crypto space now. Mm-hmm. Like I deal in in that space. Everything every transaction that I do, every bill that I pay is all through cryptocurrency at this point. Wow. But then I'm sitting there thinking like cash. I'm like it's true because the reason I got out of banking because my banking makes me no money. Like why yeah. would, why would I have ten yeah, grand yeah, yeah, yeah. sitting yeah. in a bank yeah, yeah. if if I'm not if I'm not getting four mm-hmm. <laughs> percent? Yeah, yeah. What is this doing? Yeah. You and get, you get and like you're not getting you're not getting anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to get up into like the millions before yeah, you're to, getting like maybe a percent. Yeah, yeah. Or two percent. They mm-hmm. told me thirty five thousand to get point seven. Yeah. <laughs> That's and then hilarious. and then that's and then everything after that is barely incrementing anything to one percent. Man, I right. got money. I got Dude. money staking right now on one and a half percent, two percent, four percent, and sixteen percent. Sixteen is boner boner zone. <laughs> that's boner, boner zone, zone yeah. man. Dude, <laughs> Especially boner when zone. it's climbing. <laughs> when it's climbing, yeah. week over week over week. You don't, week you don't have to week. touch it because you have other means. So you're just sitting there, just yeah. accruing, yeah, yeah. holding. Yeah, you're accruing. We got really economic nerds real quick. Baby, the world's gone brain dead. 